You know, I've never really had an office job. Ooh. <laughs> Morning, Skate. Morning, Edwin. Go to TeamGTFishing.com to see more. You bought her many years ago, and she's been there for you every day since. It's because you've taken care of her, pampered her. Only the best will do. That's why you choose Lucas Oil Marine Products to protect her. Every day she starts, gets you there, and gets you back. Even after all these years, Lucas Oil Marine Products because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, Go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, BNM. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, great head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell for fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crap. Welcome to the big show here at Truman Reservoir, American Crappie Trail. Man, have we got some things to talk about today. I'm here with our illustrious Matt Morgan, who is the owner of American Crappie Trail and also the tournament director. I'm Sam Heaton and your host. And uh, you know, Matt, it's been a great time up here. It has been fun. The, uh, you know, the weather wasn't the best of, of all scenarios coming in. Rained five or six inches last weekend, which really kind of turned things upside down. But I have not talked to an angler yet, local or from out of town, that says they haven't caught fish after fish after fish. Yeah, we've seen a lot of fish caught on the water. And you know, I'm, I'm glad that we have Rockport Rattler and Martin Metals here as sponsors of this tournament trail because they have been with us all year and they've been faithful to us and I'm glad they're going to have a good representation of their products here at Truman Reservoir. Absolutely, it means a lot and I tell you, you know, I, I guarantee if we interview the top 10, all of them say at one point or another they've used a Rockport Rattler here as, sure. a, as, a, as a jig head. Sure. It's, it's extremely important when you're jig fishing um, to entice the bite and when things are tough like they have got today, yes, that extra rattle makes them bite. Yeah, and it makes a lot of difference. And I want to also thank the city of Clinton, Missouri. You know, we've been a lot of places, and I can't think of a place that we've been that hadn't been wonderful. But it just seems like the people here in Clinton oh, welcomed us with open arms. And, you know, it makes a lot of difference to the fishermen. It makes a lot of difference to the tournament people for the photographer, everybody loves being in a place where they want you to be. Absolutely, the, uh, you know, the, the city of Clinton has been absolutely fantastic here at Bucksall Marina and Resort, right here on the Grand Arm. It's seven miles outside of Clinton, Missouri. It's a fantastic place to host a tournament. You know, they've got a bait shop, they've got a restaurant, they've got a lodge, they've got cabins, campground, you name it, they've got it here. It is, uh, it's a one-stop shop. Oh man, and I gotta get away from that. Chocolate, what was that? Lady chocolate had? zucchini bread we had. Yeah, chocolate zucchini bread. Man, you wanna stay away from that stuff, it'll make your pants shrink up. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> hey, let's talk about the Lawrence weather. Well, I tell you, you know, yesterday, um, fishing was good. I think we had nine weights, nine bags that were over 10 pounds. It really blew me away knowing that the Grand Arm, which has really been hot the last two, three, four years, and it's where the majority of the tournaments have been won, was really looking like chocolate milk on Monday and Tuesday. 
Started to clear up just a little bit on Wednesday, Thursday, but it really showed out yesterday. Yeah, and you know, these, these uh, teams have had to contend with different weather in yeah. pre-fish, mm -hmm. in practice, in the first day, and now the second day. We've, all, we've had different weather every day, and they've had to adapt to that different weather. Yeah, I tell you, you know, I'm, we've been on the water. We'll get to that here in a little bit, but the general consensus right now is the bite was a little bit tougher today. Not to say that the folks did not catch a ton of fish, but yesterday we had cloudy conditions. Today, the sun was out there predominantly most of the day. Wind was really pretty light, so it wasn't an issue with, with wind. But those sunny, from cloudy conditions to sunny conditions, um, in the last 24 hours, I think the grade of fish, the quality of fish, of tournament fish, I think it's went down a little bit today. That's my prediction. You don't think the big fish hit like they did yesterday? Unless it happened in the afternoon, which is very likely here at Truman Lake. Um, you know, a lot of folks had limits early, but the big fish were, you know, it was basically a seven pound limit, mm -hmm. you know, pound fish. And that's not gonna, you know, that's not gonna cut it here at Truman. So, you know, I don't know if the, the sunny conditions, whether those fish were nosed right up on the trees which I know the, the infamous G3 fence row on the grand side had quite a, few, quite a few teams on it today. But, you know, our leaders were there. Yes. And we'll, get, we'll talk about that in a second, we too. We filmed them over there. Absolutely. We'll talk about it in a second. But, you know, as of about 11, 11.30, they were, had about seven, seven and a half pounds. Right. So, you know, I think some of those fish had been beaten up yesterday. Uh -huh. Through the pre-fish period, they've been beaten up there. And I think that some of those underwater stumps, some of that underwater cover is what's really gonna pay off today. You know, but that place, that G3 fence row, has the unique ability to replenish itself yeah. over a 24 hour period. And that's what's made that place so good all these years. It is, and you know, you think that where it's at, it's you know, kind of close to, to a Y or um, a branch off of two creek channels, a main river channel. It's just, it sets itself up to have the cover, the food, the oxygen, you know, the water temperature, everything that those crappie are looking for to reload and reload and reload, and it's done it for many, many years. You'd think at some point they'd fish that daggone thing out, but it, it's just, as soon as you think it's done, boom, it's hot again. Well, it's hot again, and there's such a tremendous amount of fish here at Truman Reservoir. Yeah. You know, it has the opportunity to replenish. Hey, let's talk about the two main arms. Yeah. Let's talk about the Grand and the Osage. You know, you've got two main arms that really feed this, feed Truman Reservoir. Uh, you've got the Grand Arm, which, like I said, has been extremely healthy. Uh, the last three or four years, it's been very, very productive. And that's where the majority of the tournament wins have come off of. I think from a population standpoint, you've got a lot more fish on the Grand Arm. You go to the Osage Arm, um, you're not gonna have the population of fish, but what you catch is usually a better grade. Mm -hmm. Now, in the last couple, three years, like mm -hmm. I said, they've been healthy over here, so it becomes a matter of numbers. You, you're, the more you catch, the more you cull, the better shape you are to have the best seven at the end of the day. Sure. Um, we had six teams out of the top 10 fishing on the Grand Arm yesterday. 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 Four of the top 10 teams were fishing on the Osage arm. With that being said, we had the second place team, uh, we had the third place team, seventh place, and ninth place. Those were the, those were where those guys fished right. on yesterday on the Osage side. Let's go down through some of these guys because, you know, we were out there filming them, Sam. Yeah. And when I stopped and we talked to five or six of them. Right outside of the top 10, we had Barry Morrow and Chad Moppin. Um, 11th place just out of 10th by actually hundreds right we stopped out on them um, on the grand side they were fishing in the wind which you know Barry and Chad they're they're solid one pole fishermen exactly and to see them trolling I knew exactly when I saw them trolling that the, you know they were fishing underwater cover that they were looking at on their electronics right um, the wind was, was not their friend at the point where we were, we were there. However, they had caught two or three upgraded fish and probably had about seven pounds in the boat. Right. Excellent anglers have won many a tournaments on this lake. Mm -hmm. um, went to Fernandez and Morgan. Two old timers right, right. Here, right here locally. I'm telling you, they're solid fishermen. And typically, again, 
they're one pole fishermen. They wow. were in the G3 fence row, fishing amongst seven, eight, nine other boats. Um, did not see them catch a fish. No. But uh, Noel told us that they probably had seven, seven and a half pounds, and they were getting ready to put the trolling poles up and go to, to dipping, to single pole jig fishing. Um, did not make it to Wes Cooper. Wes Cooper was one of those guys we couldn't make it to because he was all, basically all in. He was fishing Hogles Creek. Okay, Hogles Creek is on the Osage Arm, which is well below Berry Bend, kind of mid lake area. That's about 50 miles from where everyone else was fishing on that arm. So he didn't make it to Wes. He was fishing by himself. Did hear a story about Wes yesterday in the fact that he was, uh, he was jig fishing. Right. And literally somehow adapts to fish with two poles in one hand. Wow, I've never seen Actually that. Actually jig fishing with two poles in one hand where the, the poles were branched out and he'd stick it around a tree and he'd move it and dead stick it and then bounce it a couple times. And uh, it was a pretty interesting story. So I'd like to see how he holds those because I've never seen that in my life of fishing. Well, you know, today we, we filmed our first place team and they were both fishing with a, with a rod in each hand. Right, yeah. And that's, I mean, it takes, a, it takes an immense amount of concentration and patience to do that. Beyond me. Yeah, eighth place, Solomon Waters, coming all the way from Ohio. Had a solid bag yesterday. Um, they had 10.04, so solid, solid bag for Truman Lake. They were fishing the upper end of the Grand Arm, um, in and out of the river channel, up around the Sparrow Foot uh, boat ramp. They had just standard, you know, I guess, low-end tournament grade fish uh, from reports from their camera guy. The, nothing out of the world, but solid, solid fishermen, and that was uh, about three hours ago, so they had a lot of time to adapt. Right. And uh, Paul, Paul Alpers, Paul and Alpers and Clint Hibden. Um, they had bad luck today. They Paul had, got sick. Had did he? Quit. Yeah. He got sick. Uh, his stomach got to bothering him, and mm. he, had, he had to pull out. I hate that for Paul because he's a solid fisherman. Man. He is very good at this place. Paul has you know, lived here his, around, around this area his whole life. He uh, fishes the Osage Arm primarily and had a daggone good weight yesterday. Had big fish of the tournament right now, I believe. Uh, over two pounds, 218, yeah, yeah 2.18 yeah. pound big crappie right now, so that's right. worth 960 bucks in and of itself at this point. Um, moving on up, Blackley and Van Cleve. Oh, you gotta tell the story, man. Guys, you're gonna watch it right now, so <laughs> watch this clip as you go. Um, you know, wherever Tim and Jackie fish, they're an absolute hoot. Uh, you laugh when Jackie starts talking, you can hear him from a mile away. Jackie, uh, we pulled up on him, and Jackie's waving us over, come on, come on. And he had a 14-foot BGJP pole, uh, b and fishing rod. Bent double. Doubled over, <laughs> catching about a 20-pound buffalo. He said, man, that's the biggest fish I've ever caught on a B&M BGJP. <laughs> Just an absolute hoot to watch you. You know, Tim, Tim, God love him. He's got the patience to sit there with Jackie while he's fooling around with that fish. Yeah, he and does. You, you just he say, does. hey, look, cut the thing off and oh. let's go. <laughs> so, you know, they had, they were struggling a little bit themselves as well. Yeah. Um, they'd only had three fish, and that was, I guess, around 10, 30, 11 yeah, o'clock. Yeah, 30, it sure was. Right. But there was no way Jackie was going to let that fish get away. <laughs> yeah, it, that's, that's exactly right. So they had moved, and they were moving, some, moving into some different areas. Um, to see if they could actually, you know, duplicate what they did yesterday. And I talked to them last night. You know, th they had a 195 kicker. Well, a 195 kicker with a 10.29 pound weight, you know, that's, that's one good fish. That's one good bite that really puts you up there. And you take that fish away. Exactly. You know, they're down in that nine pound range. So, you know, they're, they're positive people. But they're third place or second place in the B&M Angler Team of the Year points. They need to come in here with a consistent, solid finish. And, and we'll see here shortly. Exactly. Fifth place, uh, Watson and Outlaw. Kent Watson, Matthew Outlaw. Kent was my old fishing partner, as everybody knows. Um, 10.30 this morning, they were fishing the Cooper Creek area. Hedge trees all around them. And they're out in open water. Right out in the middle. Right out in the open water. But gosh dang it, I'm gonna tell you something. Lawrence Electronics paid off because at 10.30 this morning, 
they had five horses. Yes, they did. Five elephants this morning at 1030, and then they started on the move. I think you're going to see them contend, but there's also some unknowns. So let's get on into yeah. the unknowns here exactly. a little bit. Exactly. Um, and you guys will understand. We did see them catch a couple, three fish uh, while we were on them. Um, Bunning going, and Bunning. Going to fourth place, Bunning and Bunning. They started on the G3 fence row. Obviously, you know, local guys from Jeff City, not too far up the road. They are one pole fishermen, but by gosh, they were trolling today too. They were trolling and they, Mr. And they, Bunning, Mr. Bunning, Mr. Charlie, he is good at that. Yes, yeah, they, they've really learned to adapt in, in all the southern waters that we fish and you know, adapting and figuring out how to troll in the south and bringing it back here and putting it into practicality is really not all that hard. It just makes it a little bit more difficult with all the underwater cover. We watched those guys catch three or four fish they fished the G3 fence row early to start with. They were struggling. I saw them fire the boat up, head to Cooper Creek. Uh, Char your, uh, Travis is typically running the boat, and when he runs it, it's 100 mile an hour, wide open. I seen him shut it down, so we went over, we watched them. We seen him catch three or four fish, and they were all upgrades. They were in that 130, to, uh, and they caught one 160 while we were sitting there watching them. So they were really good fish, and I would say that they probably continued to beat it out there the rest of the day. I have chosen them as my dark horse team. There you go. I don't know if they're a dark horse, but I say you guys get to that in your predictions in, later in the show. We will. Um, Caps and Coleman, I did not have time today uh, but I to go to the Osage Arm. Um, I chose Osage yesterday, Grand today. I do have some reports that they did catch, you know, just stop, steady, constant machines you know just robots catch them catch them catch them their, catch them. their concentration level is unbelievable man they were fishing six pound line 16 ounce jigs in nine to ten foot of water a foot off the bottom now for anybody sitting at home watching or anybody in the crowd if you think that you're a good crappie fisherman and you're patient i dare you to put a 16 ounce jig on fish with six pound test fish a foot off the bottom and not move more than 300 yards in a day. In, a, in, in an eight or 10 hour day. Exactly. And I have seen them do that time after time. But I talked to Ronnie before the tournament started and Ronnie told me, I said, how you doing big guy? We're good friends. And I said, how you doing big guy? He says, I'm fishing like I was fishing for a million bucks. They've, uh, you know, American Crappie Trail, they've won at Kentucky Lake this year. They're n leading the B&M points race. They're solid, solid fishermen, They're, you know, there's good today, if not better than what they were 10 years ago, even with 10 years more of age. They're more determined now. They love the, the competition level. They love the payouts. It is what it is. And, uh, you know, no matter where you go, they're going to be tough to beat. David Cox, Steve Hockett, awesome fishermen. They're local guys. Um, they've, won, they've won a bunch of tournaments right here on Truman Lake. Exactly. Fishing the Osage Arm, kind of fishing the middle part of the lake. Um, put a cameraman in the boat first thing this morning. I saw Tim, I guess, I don't know, it was probably about noon. I said, Tim, give me an update. What do we got going on over on the Osage Arm? He said, you know, Cox and Hawk, it was, a, it was a steady show. They were catching fish. But from reading in between the lines, that that point, they weren't catching the grade of fish that they needed. That they caught yesterday. That they caught, but that was early. Okay, I mean, the guys have probably got, if they don't have the first bed in here, they've got 500 and maybe 2,000. Who knows? Probably enough to build three homes, um, <laughs> literally. So the guys have got all kinds of waypoints. The problem with that is the fact that, you know, when that happens, you've got so many places to go, it gets in your head. Exactly. Exactly. I've seen it so many times. When these, play, when you, when these teams have... 30 to 40 to 50 places to fish, that as soon as the bite slows down on one place, they get, to, they get itchy. They want to move to another place. Mm -hmm. And it, in more times than, than not, it'll hurt you. Absolutely, and the, it kind of goes against the grain of Truman Lake fishing. Typically, if you've got a, a winning string of fish found, you're not gonna be on one of those days where you catch 20, 30, 40, 50 fish. It's gonna be more in that 15 fish a day and that's exactly what Kent Watson and Matthew Outlaw were doing. I watched them fish for a long time and, and Ronnie was pretty much the same way. You're fishing in an area that you know big fish live. 
You're not there for the head count. You're there for the quality. Exactly. And, you know, let's wrap it up with our, our first place team yesterday. They weighed in 1091, a 176 big fish. So they had a pretty consistent bag of seven fish. Great guys, awesome fishermen. Two poles at a time. Your favorites today, right? Because they're using oh, a- Oh yeah, Sam Heaton, super sensitive. <laughs> I gotta love them, man. Yeah, they're using Sam's pole, b and super sensitive. Rod in each hand. They were solid. Um, we watched them for, Lord, I don't know, 30 minutes, 30, 45 30 minutes. 30, 45 minutes, yeah. And they're machines too. You know, steady, patient, patient fishermen. Fishing the G3 fence row. Um, you know, they had a little more company today, but when we left them, they didn't have but probably just a little over seven pounds. We saw them catch a nice fish, and they caught it right in front of us. So I think they're going to be they're going to be tough to beat. You think they're going to come in with it? I think they're going to come in with it. You know, no matter how you look at it, those eleven that I just went through are some of the eleven teams of the finest in the entire country. You there's, better believe it. They've no got question. all the skills. And uh, everybody from there down are just as good. It just wasn't their day yesterday. Yep, exactly. So, you can't win it on the first day, but you can sure lose it on the first day. There's no question. The boat control, the ability to read the electronics is the key to being a winner. Hey, let's go to break right now, and as soon as we get back, we'll talk about some more, talk about the lake some more. Sounds good. Bought her many years ago, and she's been there for you every day since. It's because you've taken care of her, pampered her. Only the best will do. That's why you choose Lucas Oil Marine Products to protect her. Every day she starts, gets you there, and gets you back. Even after all these years, Lucas Oil Marine Products. Because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. This patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell for fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. You know, I've never really had an office job. Ooh, <laughs> morning, Skate. Morning, Edwin. <laughs> Go to TeamGTFishing.com to see more. Welcome back. Hey, uh, I've got a, I've got a great pleasure today. I want to introduce our MC, a very knowledgeable guy on Truman Lake, and one of the hardest working guys I've ever had the pleasure of working with, and that is Mr. Jamie Bryant. How you doing, buddy? Mr. Sam Heaton, the pleasure is all mine. No, sir. I tell you, you know, you have. This is your local lake. I'm actually Lake of the Ozarks, but I'll tell you what, back in the early 70s when they flooded this reservoir, I remember my dad bringing me up here when the trees were all still green. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for the last 25, 30 years, you know, we've, I've seen this lake develop to what it is today. So, yeah, you could say I'm a local. And, and he also runs a big tackle shop in what town? Uh, we're down at Lake of the Ozarks in Lori, Missouri, but we're not here to promote business. We're here to talk about no, this No, no, no. So, yeah. You just let me do this interview. <laughs> you be quiet and let me do this yes, interview. Yes, sir. He has a, a very large tackle shop and so he gets all this information from these people that come in his store so he has a wealth of information to share with us and what do you you compared these two places these two rivers before compare them again 
Okay, well, Truman Reservoir is actually a flood control reservoir for Lake of the Ozarks. It was built to hold back the flood water. But it was also one that wasn't cleared. Back during the Great Depression in the 30s, whenever they built the Lake of the Ozarks, they actually logged it and cleared out the entire bottom structure of it. So the standing timber, uh, the trees, all those things that you see up here that are prevalent on Truman don't exist on Lake of the Ozarks. So it's night and day difference as far as the layout of the land. Plus the fact that this is a core lake versus you know, a lake that's, that's owned by an electric company. Sure. The one below is developed with 30,000 docks where this one has sure. standing timber. Right. So right. That's, that's a huge difference between the two. So let me ask you this, and this is a big prediction. What, do you, what method of fishing do you like best here at Truman Reservoir? Do you like the one pole technique or do you like to, to push your jigs? Okay, well, let's be honest right up front. I am an awful spider rigger. I'm terrible. You're terrible. I am terrible. But I can't believe that. I, I am. You know, I, I love using one pole. I like single jig fishing. Uh, I'm not a big fan of live bait. So I like getting down there and picking through it. And you know, going back a little bit, and we talked about how this lake has been developed when they flooded this thing. And you hear a lot, I have to back up a little bit, you hear a lot about guys fishing in the timber. Mm -hmm. And if, if you've never been, been on this lake before, there's, there's standing pole timber as far as the eye can see. Everywhere. But they talk about the secrets like hedgerows mm -hmm. and those type of things. Those are actually fence rows of the old farms. Right. So that's where right. hedge grew. So you find those hedgerows and you get down and you vertically jig through each one of them. I like doing that. I think it's a mm -hmm. lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I like fishing the cedars. I like picking around for that great big fish. And mm -hmm. to me, that's a challenge. I like that. You know, I like fishing reservoirs also, man-made reservoirs also, because there's so much more structure. There's old road beds, there's old fence rows, there's old house foundations, and there's a lot of places that you could go to to fish. And, you know, you're fishing that structure. And structure is the key to everything. A absolutely, Sam, you're right. And the, and the thing is, is that you don't have to have fancy electronics. You mm -hmm. don't have to have um, side imagery. It mm -hmm. helps because, you know, guys are putting out brush now along these, uh, this lake also, but you can just drive down the lake and you can see a cedar tree sticking up and say, you know what, that's a cedar tree. That's visible cover. It's visible cover. You're absolutely <laughs> right. We got so, somebody stealing a car in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, so for me, you know, a lazy fisherman that I am, it, it's easy to see it and get it, catch them. Yeah, and, you know, it's, uh, it, you, you know, in your position as MC, you know, these guys come up there, and, you know, some of them are all sad and depressed. You know, they got to remember, and we all have to remember, man, this is what we do for a living. You're absolutely right, Sam. I've, I've said this to every fisherman that comes up that's had a bad day. I said, you know, I want you to remember something. It's very, very important. When you're looking at that TV, and they're looking back at you, there's a million people out there wishing they had the opportunity to weigh that one fish that you weighed today. Exactly. I said, you should be proud of every single fish you catch, and, and don't let them fool you. They've been out there grinding that water now for what, eight and a half hours? Yeah. Those guys are working dang hard. And five days, and, and th I'll say that uh, probably three days of pre-fishing and two days of tournament fishing. Absolutely. And, and even those guys have done more than that. But you know what? They're tired. This is the end of the road for them. Oh, they're, yeah. they're pulling every stop out they can try to get themselves oh, yeah. a paycheck today. So they should be awfully damn proud of everything they catch. Okay, what about your power pole prediction? My power pole prediction, all right. Well, we've had a long discussion about this, and I'm gonna go today with Ronnie Caps and Steve Coleman, and I'm gonna tell you one specific reason why. That's like betting on Secretariat, you know? I, I know, you know, it, it sounds like it's safe, but I'll tell you what, 4.30 this morning, we were checking live wells and checking boats, and I saw Ronnie Caps and Steve Coleman with an intensity, an intensity I have never seen before. They were keyed and they were focused, and I, I asked Steve, I said, uh, Steve, how's it gonna be for you today? And he said, there's going to be some company around us. And I said, does that bother you? And he said, we will catch fish if a boat is beside us. Yeah. And he said it with such confidence, I think we need to watch out for them today. I, yeah. think, I think they figured something out, and I think consistency is going to be the key. Well, they're always a favorite team now, of mine. How about you, Sam? Well, I've had a little bit of advantage on you. I got to be out on the water today with some guys, and I watched Bunning and Bunning. And, uh, you know, that's a father-son team. And those guys are tuned in, man. They know what each, one, each other is going to do before they do it. You know, Mr. Bunning, he was netting fish, caught the keeper that we saw him keep, caught it out of the air with the net as it dropped off the hook. And that, 
just so happened that I was given a tip on why they use that long handle dip net. And, but these guys, you know, Mr. Bunny, he got, grabbed that fish, Mr. Charlie did, went back there, weighed that fish, said, yeah, this, this is 1.6 something, this is one of our keepers. And, and you know, it was just a well-oiled machine. And you know, I've worked several promotions with, with Mr. Charlie, and uh, I'm gonna give this guy credit, man. I have never seen anybody better with the customer that's looking to buy a pole than he is. So yeah, maybe from my heart, not my head, but I'm gonna go with Bunny and Bunny. All right, but let's not let's not rule out. Those are our picks. I'm gonna stick with it. Yeah. But let's not forget that we have 20 of the best crappie fishermen in the world right here on the sheet. Oh, so without a doubt, our pick don't count. You know, everything those guys do is so methodical and so focused. If it's reading the electronics, if it's running the trolling motor, if it's fishing you know, fishing that pole. Those guys, I was watching the, the, uh, Dant today. He could put that jig in a circle that big around from 20 feet away. Yep. And you know, how many times have you seen it when the placement of that jig, that, I call it a sweet spot. Mm -hmm. There's a sweet spot right beside that standing timber where those fish are hiding out. And if you don't hit that sweet spot every time, you're not gonna catch them. How many times have you seen that? Well, I've seen it a lot, done it very few. <laughs> done it very few. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it takes you a long time when you're lowering that jig down through there and you ease it up over that first yeah, stick. Right. And you go, was that a fish? Mm-hmm. It takes talent. Yeah, it, you know, takes, it takes talent. A lot of and talent. also a lot of awareness because even though they're one, fishing one pole, you put that jig in there and you get that bite, if you, you know, that timber's above you. And if you whack that timber with, with your rod, you're gonna, you know, you stand a chance of breaking your rod and stand a good chance of losing the fish. So it takes concentration on both ends. It takes concentration on bow control. It takes concentration on knowing where you are at all times. And, and how to set the hook. And let's not forget too, these guys aren't using three, four foot and five foot rods. No. They're taking a 10 foot rod and they're sticking it down in those branches. Right. So they gotta get that hook set Either by stripping the line and one in each hand, and one in each hand, and not tangle up, not get wrapped up, playing the wind, yeah, playing exactly. the current, finding the sweet spot. That ultimate balance is going to determine who's going to walk away with that ranger boat today. Exactly. And Zufel, he's you know he is the that guy is around that boat. He I bet he runs ten miles a day on the back deck of that boat because as soon as that boat is passed that standing timber, he's on the other side of that timber. And before he gets, before he gets back to, the, to, before the boat gets to the other piece of timber, he's on this side of the timber. I bet you the guy jogs 10 miles a day on the back deck of that Ranger boat. Yep, you know, we got to talking after day one weigh in. He came up to him and he says, you know, you're, you're James Bryan, aren't you? And I said, yeah. yeah. We got to talking, heck, I knew him. Oh, really? You know, we had known each other from years ago, so we got to talking and visiting, and you know, He's I said- He's a lot better looking than you are. You know, he is, <laughs> he, he <laughs> is. But I said, you got anything left? And he said, you know, I don't know. Yeah. He said, I just don't know. He said, boy, we, we put our everything into this, so yeah. I'm, I'm really curious to see how Don does today, yeah. so. It, and, you know, and I'm so, I'm so proud, I guess, of our fishermen, hey. because they've all conducted themselves so well and they all have just been, they might not be the prettiest bunch, but I'm telling you what, they are so well-mannered and so much of a gentleman to one another, to the crowd, to the people in town. Everybody loves for us to come here. Well, Sam, I'll tell you so, what, it was a complete honor to let me be a part of this with you today. Uh, it was man, it's absolute, been a pleasure. Thank you for everything. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to go over and put on my other microphone, and I think they're ready to start weighing some fish. Let's get them to get in. You, you wanna do that? that? Let's yeah. do it. Thank y'all. That's the that's the big big show here at the live feed. So stick around. We'll be right back. We're gonna weigh some fish and see who that champion's gonna be. You know, I've never really had an office job. Ooh, <laughs> morning, Skate. Morning, Edwin. Go to teamgtfishing.com to see more. You bought her 
her many years ago, and she's been there for you every day since. It's because you've taken care of her, pampered her, only the best will do. That's why you choose Lucas Oil Marine Products to protect her. Every day she starts, gets you there, and gets you back. Even after all these years, Lucas Oil Marine Products, because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, great head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell for fish. Look, if you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. And we're back, folks. Welcome back to beautiful Truman Lake here at Buckstall Marina. I'm your MC, James Bryant. Welcome to the American Crappie Trail. We're in day two. It's championship Saturday. Guys, I can't even tell you how excited I've been. The pre-show just wrapped it up. The weights are going to be really close. We have a close race for Angler of the Year points. We have local anglers that are vying for a position for the national championship. And it's about to all go underway here in just a second. We'd like to thank our hosting sponsor, the Clinton Chamber of Commerce. I see Erica down there today. Good to see you. Uh, Bucksaw Marine and Resort. Our hosting hotels are the Bucksaw Marine and Resort, the Hampton Inn, Westbridge Inn, and the marina here is Bucksaw Marina. Our radio station is KDKD 95.3, and your tournament director today will be ACT owner Matt Morgan. Today is a 100% payback. Every entry dollar brought in is going back to the anglers today. And in addition to that, first place will receive a $25,000 2017 Ranger RT 188C with 115 horsepower Evernerd E-Tech. All that wouldn't be a possible without thanking our sponsors. So we'll take a little break here to thank our national sponsors. Lucas Oil, Protect the Harvest, B&M Poles, Mid-State Seed, Steve Blaylock's here today, thank you very much for coming, Martin Metal, General Tire, Ranger Boats, Evan Rude Outboards, Lawrence, Super Clean, Gator Guards, Power Pole, The Original Rod Socks, Bug Band, Crappie Now Magazine, Mid-South Tackle, Valley Fashions, Rockport Rattlers, Road Runner, American Angler, Drip Master, Bobby Garland Crappie Baits, Grizzly Jig, Comper, G Grizzly Jig Company down in Mansfield, and Charlie Brewer Sliding Company, Slider Company. We'd also like to thank our local sponsors, the Clinton Chamber of Commerce, Bucksaw Resort and Marina, Mallard's Roadhouse, the Benson Convention Center, AG 1280, The Farm Voice, Slugger 66, Hawthorne Bank, Golden Corral, Everhart's Outdoor Store, Benton County Tire and Supply, Tightwad Bait and Tackle, and the Walmart here in Clinton. Folks, you guys ready to see a weigh-in? Sounds like they are. Let's bring the first boat in today on our drive through weigh-in and see what we've got today. A little reminder, we're going to have some contingency payouts on top of everything else, so we'll be well over 100% back on our payback. 
Today, our first boat coming in, and I have to back up a little bit. Our current leader on two days is Stuart and Stuart. They weighed in early today. The total is 1578. But right now, we've got team number 13 of Brad Calhoun and Larry Holmes. They had 947 yesterday. They have a seven fish limit today. They're going to need 631 to take the lead. And you're going to get just there, aren't you? 650 moves you right into the lead. How was it out there for you today? It was a tough day. Uh, didn't catch nine keepers, what we caught all day. Uh, totally different from yesterday. Uh, we should, I guess, moved earlier. But we had a great time this week. Oh, I know we did. It looks like your two-day total for today is going to be 1597. Great here for Truman Lake. Guys, congratulations on fishing ACT for the year. We're going to see you next year, right? Yes, sir. All right, we appreciate it a bunch. Calhoun's everybody. I'm going to give you a fish back, too. I'm not going to walk them all the way over. Thanks, sir. All right, and that's our first drive through way, and it worked pretty smooth so far. Let's bring another one up here and see what we got today. I, I can see who they are. If you guys look over there, you'll see the Reedy Clan. We've got a little captain there. Right now, with they Calhoun, Calhoun and Holmes, who just weighed in 1597 as your current leaders. Yesterday, our big crappie was 218. We had an early big fish weigh in today for 186. Here come Team Reedy. Jim and Barb Reedy. And their little Yamaha there. And here comes Mike. Look, he pulled you up too far, didn't he? <laughs> You're going to have to just jump, Barb. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just a reminder, today, if the top ten, if you're a Ranger Cup qualified and they win, there's going to be another $500 to the winning team. Lucas Oil is one of our great sponsors, and they have, uh, if you buy $50 worth of merchandise, you qualify, the anglers are going to qualify for a fi two $500 drawings at the end of the tournament. So big money paid out there. And the top three placing teams using the B&M polls will receive an extra $500, $300, and $200. Barb, we're going to weigh them up here. We tricked you. You get to go front and center right down the line. Here comes Barb and Jim Reedy. Long-time crappie fisherman here on Truman Lake. They've got a seven-fish limit. Had a perfect score yesterday of seven pounds, another seven today. Going to take 897 to move into the lead today. 7.15, a little short. We beat our record yesterday. So I can do the math, though. Yeah, you can, I know. I don't even have to look behind me. 14.15 for your two-day total. You, you did beat the pound average, and that's a, a wonderful thing. That's all it counts right now. Did you have a good time on Truman Lake? I had a great time. I'll tell you what, it's a nice place here. American Crappie Trail is doing a stupendous job. It's, uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, B&M, uh, Vicious, uh, Mid-South. We used some of their stuff today. Um, Mr. Uh, Van. For sale, we used some of his jigs today. They work pretty good. Uh, thumpers, thumpers, thumper mm -hmm. jigs, yeah. Uh, B and M, of course. Like I say, uh, Lake go ahead, Barb. Oh, yeah, well, throw I'm it just in there. Look at you can read the shirt, shirt and do it. <laughs> and Driftmaster. Drift All right, yeah. guys. That's something we forgot, but thanks. <laughs> we'll get them, guys. Appreciate you fishing this year. Thanks so much. I'm gonna give you a fish. The Reedies, folks. Yeah. Seven, 14, 14. All right. And the seven fish limits are coming in. Right now, Calhoun and Holmes are still our leaders of 1597. Coming up next, we have team number 42. And that is the team of Phil and Eva Rambo. They had 693 yesterday. They do have a seven fish limit today. They're going to need 904 to move into the lead. Phil's got his fish. Also a reminder, today was brought to you by the American Crappie Trail here at Truman Lake by Rockport Rattler and Martin Metal. I tricked you. You just come right up the middle, Phil. How about that? Like you're a star, because you are. Uh, I think. All right, Eva. Eva's the star. Takes 9.04 to move into the lead today. I think you're just going to come up a hair short. 7.11 for today. Your two-day total is going to be 14.04. Well, we had fun. We didn't drown. And it's always good to come back to Truman. Six years ago, I got to renew our marriage vows for 50 years. 
So it's 56 now. 56 years, folks. How about that? I did it right here on this stage. Right on. <laughs> and you know what? As long as you'll keep fishing, we'll keep coming back. There we go. Anything you'd like to add to that, Eva? It's just always good to be here. We love the Bucksaw area, and uh, we thank Ozark Rods and Southern Pro and Slider and some of our other, and Bug Band. And Bug Band. Yeah. Yep, Dan Ritter does a great job, doesn't he? Yes, he Guys, does. it was a pleasure talking to you this year. Thank Appreciate you. Fish American Crappie Trail. Thanks so much. There you go. Phil and Eva Rambo, folks. Don't, don't need the tickets, I'll give it to you if you'd like it. Put it in your scrapbook. All right, coming up next, I watched this guy in Sardis, Mississippi. He started out a little slow, and boy, he came on hard. He moved up right through the field. Yesterday, he had 833. He fished all by himself. And folks, if you don't know about uh, spider rigging alone, that's a feat in itself. He's going to need 764 to move into the lead today. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Whitey Outlaw, one of our B&M pro staffers. You found your way up here, didn't you, bud? Oh, yeah. You are going to move right in. Look at this. There you go. 820 to your 833. Put you at 1653 two-day total. Put you in the lead right now. Yeah, that won't last. <laughs> <laughs> Get over here. Let's talk about it this minute. How was your experience here on Truman? Oh, it's, it's, it's always fun. I mean, you, you know, you go out there and you, you hunt the best fish you can. But every year I go to the same stuff we've been fishing since 97. And uh, some years it pays off. The last couple it happened. But it's still fun. I mean, you catch a lot of fish. And, you know. Uh, where else can you go in this country fish for this kind of money for seven fish there you go I mean you can't beat it you I got it I just have to say this because you and I've had some fun on the tour this year we pick on each other a little oh, bit yeah, yeah. but this afternoon while you were out fishing we had a question they said who is the most well-known fisher out fisherman out there and there was a lot of conversation out there and I said I'll tell you what for me fishing when I used to fish against these guys because I was a nobody I said my favorite was always Whitey Outlaw I said, because he was the coolest, most professional angler out there. And I said, man, he, had, he has that cool little southern slag. I said, he's my hero. So I think you're the most popular fisherman on the tour. So it's been an absolute honor to be able to be up here on the stage with you. It is. And, you know, and, and I appreciate that. But, you know, I, we owe old Matt a, a big hand. Cause boy, he stuck, he stuck everything he's got out there for this thing. And, I mean, he's pulled it together good. Cause we, I've been fishing tournaments since I was 15 years old. And... Uh, I fished all the trails, and I have never fished for that kind of money except at the Nationals. And we're doing it every tournament. That's awesome. So, well, it, is, it is outstanding. Whitey, I appreciate your time. Yes, I'm sir. giving your fish back. Whitey Outlaw, everybody. Our current leader, 1653, too, doing it by himself. We'll see if that sticks. He wasn't too confident about it, but you just never know here on Truman Lake. Coming up next, we have the team boat number 59 of Jason and Jim Westerberg. They had 731 yesterday. They're going to need 922 to take the lead today. They're easing out there in their Rockport Rattler wrap boat. Rock, team Rockport Rattler guys. Jason, how you doing? A lot better than yesterday. Boy, you did. Look at this. 1017, put your total up at 1748, moved right into the lead. All right, all Is right. Is it enough to make it stick, though? I don't think so, but... <laughs> It's a big improvement from yesterday. All right, we're going to turn this way so the crowd can see you over here just real quick. Anybody you guys like to thank right now? I want to thank Rockport Rattler, B&M. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for Rockport Rattler and B&M today, we wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to catch these fish and, and wouldn't be able to fish. I mean, without the Rockport Rattler, we wouldn't have caught the, the weight we had today. I'll just say that and the, the B&M rods. So. Well, I hope this weight sticks for you. I hope we get to see you up here at the top ten in the hot seat. Jim, anything you'd like to add? Just, it's a great fish fishery here and we had a great time very good right now your current leaders folks the westerberg team with 1748 oh you want to weigh a big fish uh 218 gonna check a big fish here mike 218 yesterday was the overall big fish i think it's 960 dollars we're gonna pay out for the one big one he's digging Boy, it's a bad one. They're all cookie cutter big ones like that. When you have a 10 pound sack, they're all big, aren't they? All right, he's, he's picked his fish. Gonna be just a touch short, 170. We'll hold that up for the crowd, everybody to see there. There's good Truman fish there, nice fish. All right, your current leaders, guys, Westerberg and Westerberg. Thank you so much. 
All right, coming up next, we have team number 41, Daniel Pemberton and Justin Newman. They had 896 yesterday, need 852 today. Do you have it? Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, heck yeah, you do. 940, your two-day total is going to put you up there. 1836. Aaron's creeping right up there. You caught him good today. We did. Uh, they actually started biting a little bit better. Yesterday was slow. Uh, we probably caught 20 fish. So now you're hoping the top 10 have about 7, 8 pounds, right? Yeah. <laughs> you think they're going to hold up? I doubt it. Now right, we're going to check and see. Guys, congratulations right. on a great two day. You had a great comeback. In the lead for now. Thank we'll you. see who finds out. Thank you, guys. All right, coming up next, we have team number 18. That is the fishing team of Steve Dana and Terry Morse. They are B&M sponsored team. Got a nice little War Eagle there with an Evner G2 on it. Steve swaggering out here, coming on up. You're not even going to carry the fish, are you? You're just taking the lead to talk, right? How you doing today, Steve? Good to see you. Doing great, doing great. He's ready to get on stage. He's ready. He said, I'm coming on stage. You can put him right on in there. Going to need yet. Not a great day yesterday. Uh, we didn't have a good day yesterday, but... Uh, you did better your score. Five pounds yesterday, 526 today, 1026. Yeah. You're not at the bottom, but you're not no, at the top. We caught a lot of fish all week, had a great time. I mean, we got here Monday evening and, I, and Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We had 40, 50, and 60 fish days, and uh, the days that we caught good fish, we didn't catch very many, and that's normally how it works. So yesterday and today, we stayed on them fish. We just couldn't catch uh, enough uh, good keepers. Gotcha. But had a great time. Really uh, enjoyed it. You guys it. did qualify for the national championship, I believe? Yeah, I hope think so. so. So we're oh, going to see yeah. you like at the Yards Arcs, right? Oh, yeah. I just want to say one thing about the circuit. Matt Morgan, uh, Angie, his whole staff, you, everybody here. I've been fishing tournaments since 1968. And I'm telling you, I've been waiting on this for 20 years. It's the best thing since pea soup. <laughs> pea I'm soup. Telling. That's right. Ugh. Great. Y'all do a great job, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. Those are kind words. We appreciate you fishing with us here up there. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Steve, Dan, and Morris. Always good words. Coming up next, we have boat number 14. They had 8.58 yesterday. Had a really good day. Jeremy Campbell and Jordan Prost. Need 9.78 today to do it. What do you think? Uh, not even close. How about 7.53? That's what it hey, is. We'll take it. Six, it, was, it was tough. 1611 for your two day total. How was your experience here on Truman? Hey, it was good. We're here all the time. Just, we lost some good bites yesterday. Probably cost us a pound. So, yep. that's and the way it, it goes. At this level, boy, there's some, there's some hitters out oh, there yeah. catching them, right? Yeah, you can't miss. Yep, but the next one, you guys will be right up at the top, I'll bet. Hey, that's right. We'll see you the next one. Guys, we Thanks, appreciate sir. you fishing with us. Congratulations on two day total. All right, coming up next. They had 844 yesterday. They're going to need 992 to take the lead, which right now is a team of Pemberton and Newman. This is Jason Meacham and Matthew Rogers. If anybody wants to see the boat they're going to win this weekend, it's just like that RT-188 right there. Got a seven fish limit today. Look, he's passing it off, making you carry the fish up. I'm glad to see you woke up today. <laughs> You were a little tired this morning. Oh, yeah. Gonna need 992. That's Ranger Livewell crappie right there. They're flipping all over, aren't they? Oh, yeah. 767, just a hair short, but hey, how was your experience here on Truman Lake with ACT? It was good. Decent buy today. A little slower than yesterday. Lost a lot of good fish. Just how it goes. Had fun, though. Yep. And do you guys one pole or spider rig? One pole. Mid South Tackle and Bobby Garland Bates, right? Yep. We knew it. Jason, good to meet you guys. Praise the. You can help right there. Thanks for fishing with us. We appreciate it. All right, coming up next. I used to call them the bad boys of fishing, but they're getting older now, so now they're calmer. They had nine pounds even yesterday, 936 today. Team number nine, Travis Bullock, Philippines. You just run up here every time. Got a crowd today, too. 904, 1804, just a hair out of the lead right now. Put you in second place. Philip, better for you for Truman, though, right? A lot better than usual, yeah, but it was tough today. We got 20 fish total all day. Yep, I got to tell you, I fished with Travis on Truman Lake many, many times, and I, I guarantee you, you caught some good fish today. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. Did you? Travis, how was it for you? It, it was tough. It was a grind. Uh, we had to grind it out all day long. Like I said, yesterday we caught a lot of fish, but we couldn't catch any big fish, and then today... Uh, I want you to back up here. I want you to turn this way, because we got a couple things to talk about. Number one... These are true or false questions, okay? Do you know your spouses are in the crowds today? True. Yes. 
Okay, do you know the second rule is you always acknowledge your family first? I didn't start it. True you or did. false? Did you True. know that? Okay, True. so now let's take this moment and say... Hi, Molly. And? My wife, Kayla. Thank, thank you. Travis? Hello, everybody. Hi, Shannon. Love you. All right, your, your father-in-law's over there. I see him. Okay, we'll make sure we get that. Guys, it was a pleasure. Mid-State Seed Sponsor Team, two-day total, 1804. Great two-day total. I'm glad to see you guys. We'll see you at Lake of the Ozarks National Championship. Thanks, guys. Travis, Travis Bullock, Philip Haynes. All right, coming up next, team number 46, Andrew Scott, Joshua Wharton. They had 789, need 1047 today. And you're happy. You got big fish, right? Uh, about what I did yesterday, I had... 738, 1527 for your two-day total. How was your experience here on Truman? It was awesome. The first time here on the lake, uh, I'll definitely be back. Did you scratch up your new boat? No. I would say that was a beautiful 522 <laughs> going through. We talked about making sure you didn't tree it up here on Truman. Uh, I don't think I got any scratches on Maybe it. Maybe that's why you didn't get that big fish. You yeah. didn't get in there tight enough. You're going to have to yeah. run that. You're going to have to scratch that boat. Fish, like to All right, we're going to weigh a big fish. 218 yesterday was a big fish. He's going to put one up there today and see what happens. When you find it, make sure you hold it up. Everybody can see it, okay? Hold them both up. There's some nice Truman fish there, but you have to get out of the way of the camera. <laughs> little, you're right, a little short, but a nice fish. 159. Your two-day total, 1804, guys. Great two-day total. Thanks for Fish American Crop Show with you guys. Appreciate it. All right, coming up, local Truman legend. In his 521 Ranger powered by Yamaha V Max. He had 863 yesterday. He's gonna need 973 today to take the lead. He's boat number 47, John Shannon. He's easing off. <laughs> I knew you'd get her, John. Come on up here and see me. Yeah, he says he doesn't jump up here like he used to, and that's okay. Gonna need 973 today, 758, just a hair short. But you know what? You're no stranger to Truman Lake. Why don't you look right here at the camera and tell us what, what Truman had for you today and how was it for you? Uh, it's a lot slower today. We, we just couldn't catch any big fish. We didn't catch near the fish we did yesterday. And I don't know what we did wrong or what, just fishing, I guess, you know. <laughs> well, you, it, I don't know if it's true or not, but I know you're an upper end fisherman. Is that true? Very much, yeah. And I heard that bite just really didn't come in this weekend. Is that right? Or? Yeah. Uh, it's another few days, it's going to be even better than it is right now. You'll catch them we tomorrow, caught, right? We caught 50, 60 fish yesterday. Today, we might have caught 15, 20. Very good. Well, your two-day total, 1621. John, I appreciate you fishing American Crappie Trail. Hope to see you again next year. We'll thank, see you guys. thank you very much. John Shannon, everybody. Time for the cool cat. He's number 12. It's Chris Bruchart and Jay Burris. He had 812 yesterday. Need 1024 today. Get up here, cool man. Seven fish limit today. How was it, brother? It was fun. Caught a bunch of fish. I enjoyed it. A little better than I thought. 906. Put you there at 1718. Two day total. You're right up there in about fourth place. I don't think it's going to hold for you, but. No. But I increased and I figured out a little bit more about the lake and. Uh, it was a positive, I think. Yeah, well, you know what? I've never seen you with a negative. No, it can't be. We're fishing. That's right. No, Got to no. say, for the folks here at Truman, it's a pleasure, and it's been a pleasure all Absolutely. season with you fishing. Got to know you. You're a hell of a good guy. Yes, sir. But this cat at 430 morning plays some of the best music ever and loud. <laughs> he plays it loud, boy. We're going through checking the live wells, and he's jamming. He's like, what's up, brother? We're going to go catch some fish. And you do. <laughs> you got to be pumped before that's you go you fishing. That's right. So, Chris, <laughs> a pleasure as always. Yeah, y'all too, man. I your, appreciate your two -day it so much. Your two-day total is uh, 17, 18. Right. A real pleasure fishing with. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, coming up next. Good weight. They had 9:30 yesterday. He's gonna need 9:06 today. Boat number 23. Tyler Englehart and Cole Cool. How you doing, guys? Not too bad. Not too bad. No, not too bad at all. You got. She's gonna lock in there. 9:16. That's gonna put you at 18:46. 
and put you in first place right now. <laughs> How about that? Well, uh, it was a little tougher day for us. We caught all of our fish for 8 o'clock this morning, and then we couldn't upgrade from there. So uh, it was a rough second half of the day, but overall, the past two days, it's the best two days we've ever had on this lake. So it was uh, definitely positive. Now, are you guys locals to Truman Lake? Well, I grew up around here, but we live up in Des Moines. Cole's been fishing with me for three years now, and uh, this is our third tournament here on Truman Lake. So. Um, Definitely a positive, continue to get better, and learned a lot today. That's right, 18 pounds is great for a two-day total. Guys, congratulations. I hope it sticks out for you, and I'll see you guys in the check line later. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. All right, coming up next, they had 656 yesterday. Going to need 1190 today. Scott Floyd and Ralph Ennis, boat number 27. How you doing, Scott? Good. I didn't see you this morning. Were you early? Uh, about 630. Oh, okay. I miss you. About then. normal. 769, 1425, your two-day total. Anybody you'd like to thank today? You're back uh, up here. Yeah. We got to look over here at this camera. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to thank my uh, Bass Pro Shop for my sponsors and my wife for letting me come and do this. And they, my brother, my brother-in-law, Ralph, who fished, it was, a, it was a good partner, good time. Right on. Scott, it was a pleasure. Two-day total, 1425. Thanks for fishing American Crop Show with us. We appreciate it. And off he goes. He's going to make you walk, Scott. <laughs> All right, coming up next, pulling in here right now in a Ranger. Looks like a 519 maybe or a 5, yeah, 519. Team of Mike Dunn and David Lane, they had 781 yesterday. They're going to need 1065 today. They do have a seven fish limit. And here he comes. All right, guys. Look like a pretty good seven. No? Not as much as we got yesterday. All right, here, come right over here. Got seven, though. Got seven. Said they're better than today? No. Nope. 675, two-day total of 1456. Not a bad day, not a bad weekend for two days here on no, tournament. We had a lot of fun. Got a lot of, you know, big fish pre-fishing, but they just wasn't biting always for the tournament. But way it goes. Anybody you'd like to thank while you're up here? I just, my wife let me fish on her anniversary. We celebrated 50, or 39 years there yesterday. There you go. Happy anniversary. So, uh, you know, the way it goes. Anything you'd like to add, sir? Same here. My wife lets me love, lets me do what I love. There so. you go. That's what it's kept about, guys. Appreciate you Fish right. American Crop Show with you. We'll see you next year. Thanks, guys. All right, coming up next, boat number 15, the team of Rich Campbell and Travis Stevens. They had 835 yesterday. They're going to need 1011 today. Bucksaw sponsored. See the old bucksaw.com on there. And it was tough yesterday, right? It was tough for today. <laughs> tough for today? <laughs> yep. They must have been where you weren't. Yeah, that's right. 764, though, better than I could ever do. 1599 for your two-day total. I know you guys are right here at Bucksaw Marina, but anybody else you guys like to thank this weekend? Um, the Missouri Goldfish Hatchery and our families for letting us do this, and my boss for letting me off. <laughs> yep, the Weltman family down at the hatchery serves all over this area for live bait. They have great shiners. They're, they're a good group. Also, Todd Huckleby Rods. They help us out, and they're good rods. Very good. Rich? And, and Bucksaw. And Bucksaw Marina. What a great facility, huh? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Guys, pleasure you fishing with us. Thanks so much. You guys have a good weekend. There you go. Two-day total, 1599. All right, coming up next, they braved the snow and the weather, and they won our inaugural tournament on Grenada Lake, Mississippi. They're boat number three, Ron Bilbrey and Thomas Hankins. They went from snow to the heat down here at Truman in the timber. 880 yesterday, need 966 today, Tom. Uh, it was a little tougher bite today for us. Slow bite, looks like a consistent fish though. Yep, 842, it's gonna put you two day total at 1722. Hey. Great two day weekend for you. Just I a can't hair short. complain, we're fishing, right? It's beautiful weather, mm -hmm. caught a lot of nice fish, just not the biggest fish. Yep, now you and, you and Ron have walked away already with one Ranger RT-188C, which yes. guarantees you a spot in the national championship at Lake of the Ozarks. I'm sure we're gonna see you down there and I'm sure you're Going to have a little bit of payback to hand out to these guys for Truman, uh, right? Well, we hope to. We don't show up to just hand them our money. That's right. <laughs> Ron, anything you'd like to add? No, just thank our sponsors, Crappie Crazy, um, Lake Fork Lures, Ego Nets, all very, of them to help us out. Very good, guys. Great year for you guys. Congratulations on the win. Thank We're you. going to see you at Lake of the Ozarks. Yes, sir. Tom, Tom Hankins, Ron Bilber. Yep, thank you, guys. 1722, two-day total. Thank, thank you, guys. You bet. 
Okay, coming up next, there are locals. They are heavy hitters here at Truman Lake. They were down there in about 12th place, I think. Uh, Charlie Rogers, Kevin Rogers, boat number 44. They had 971 yesterday. Only going to need 875 to take the lead today. What do you think, Kevin? You got them? 875? Let's find out. I think so. Oh, heck yeah, you do. 909. Put your two-day total up there. 1880. Moves you right up there in the lead right we now. We got a big one. And he wants to weigh a big one, he says. Hey, let's just get that out of the way. So I'm in first place right now, but I'm more concerned about that 218. There we go. Check out that one. 218 to move in. Just a hair shy. 214s, but second biggest fish. Go ahead and hold that up one more time for you guys. <laughs> you must have caught it, Charlie. He did. He gets, he gets to hold it up. <laughs> take the lead? You are right now in the lead. Well, there's a lot of people left to go. That's so. right. There is. Let's sit to the side here real quick and have a quick word, okay? okay? Um, I wish we would have jigged the whole entire time. This is our home lake. It got high. We got scared. We went trolling. That was the stupidest thing we sh did. That'll cost us the tournament. Yesterday I said it was going to be one trolling. I lied. Well, I didn't lie. I don't know how it's going to be one. Ronnie may win at trolling, but for us and our style, we should have went jigging the whole entire time. We would have done a lot better. So. Okay, well, just to give a little insight for, for the guys on TV that watch this, last week we had a lot of rain come in. Yes. The water got up. What do you guys have, seven, eight inches up here? Yeah, I mean, this lake, lake came, came up, up got four, dirty. Yeah, four feet in two weeks. We've never seen the lake this high in August in 26 years of fishing Truman Lake. So a lot of stumps are underneath the water that we like to fish in August. Gotcha. So. Well, it looks like, let me get your ticket here. Your two-day total, 1860. Right now you're in the lead. Hope it sticks for you. Kevin and Charlie Rogers, folks. 1880 and a 281 from yesterday for big fish. But right now, let's bring up with another seven fish limit. They had 808 yesterday. They're going to need 1072 today. Team of Bart Gillen and Wade Mansfield. Their Grizzly Jig sponsored boat. Obviously, Wade is sponsored by Grizzly Jigs, I would say, right? I can do that. He can do that when you're the boss, right? Yeah, they, we, uh... Look, you stopped. 794, 1602 for your two-day total. Now you can go ahead. Well, we, we, uh, something changed. We don't, we're not sure what. Yesterday, by 9 o'clock, we had our seven fish, and we was calling today. By 9 o'clock, we didn't have a fish in a box, so... I told Wade, I said, let's just go on a bear hunt, and we caught the cubs. That's all it is to it. I'll bet you I know what happened. Wade here probably has too much tackle. Well, maybe. Too maybe. many things to choose from because your selection is so huge, so, 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 so nice. huge that he just couldn't figure out which lure to use. And was that the case? That was it. All right. But we had a ball. All right, uh, folks. Love, if you guys love the tournament trail. It was all great. Great. And if you need any tackle at all, grizzlyjigs.com. That's it's it. It's fixed right up, correct? Anybody else you like to thank, Bart? I was uh, Strike King and Rod Safe and Mr. Crappie. Very good. Guys, we appreciate you fishing American Crappie Trail with us. Thanks so much. Good to see you. Thank you, Wade. You bet. Okay, coming up next, they had 717 yesterday. They're going to need 1163 today. A pair of great guys, Tony Shepard and Mike Shepard. Got a seven fish limit today. Are they a good seven, Mike? Better than yesterday. He says they're better than yesterday. 717 yesterday. You're dang right they are. 909 today. Put your total out there at 1626. Not a bad two-day total for you? No, uh, we got rid of the one pose and put out eight and put the odds in our favor. <laughs> All right, Tony. Well, we're here at the camera. Anybody you guys like to thank? Uh, yeah, we'd like to thank Jinko Fish and Triton Boats, Mercury Motors, Engel Coolers, Jagil, Rainwear. We couldn't do it if it wasn't possible without them. I think you guys more than qualified up for the national championship, haven't yes. you? So we're going to see you at Lake of the Ozarks. I know you guys are just right there on the edge every time, and I know you're due. So it's going to be coming here at the national around. championship, isn't it? It'll come around. All right, Tony Shepard, Mike Shepard, thanks so much for fishing with us. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. All right, coming up next, they had 9.10 yesterday. They're going to need 9.70 today to move into the lead. They are boat number 49, Jesse Shumate and Kevin Reller. Is there 9.70 in there? No. No. <laughs> 734, though. Put your two-day total up there at 1644. Not a bad weekend. Wasn't too bad. We just uh, couldn't get on any fish like we did yesterday. So it was All a little right. tougher. A lot tougher day. Jesse, we snuck up here before you did. Why don't you turn around here so we can see your sponsors here on the TV. Anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, Muddy Water Baits, Parati Rod Holders, uh, Mercury Motors, obviously. Um, 
just a tough day today for us. Guys, we caught too many yesterday. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but a great lake to fish, right? Yep. yep. Uh, you guys been on here before? Oh, yeah, we fish this lake quite a bit, so All right. great lake. Very good. Done, guys, it. pleasure fishing with you. Thanks for fishing American Crab Patrol with us. I'll get you fish back. Thanks for fishing with us. <clears throat> All right, coming up next, they had 888 yesterday. They're going to need 992 today. It's boat number 45, Kyle Shanauer and Rodney Newhouse. B&M sponsored pro staff team. Got that 992 in there? Not quite. No. Not quite. Darn close, though. 850 on the button. Put you there. It's two-day total, 1738. Let's talk about Ranger Boats and B&M, your experience yeah. here on Truman. Oh, it's always awesome time on Truman. It's one of our favorite lakes. Uh, we've fished here several years and always catch a lot of fish. So, you know, always a good time to, you know, come down here and fish. So, uh, Ranger Boats, we, we fished out of probably that ranger the last five years uh, by far one of the best things we've ever bought uh, for tournament fishing uh, it's an old old four 522 VX last year they quit making the, the VX haul but it sits low and it's sta stable for both of us big guys jumping around on the front of it and and uh, really great boat it's probably gonna work out really good for you on the big water lake of the Ozarks our national championship coming up in October right for sure we're for looking sure. forward to seeing you there yep. Kyle you guys too. we appreciate you fishing with us congratulations on your two-day total thank you for fishing with us Thanks, Kyle Shane hour you me announce it okay I need Shannon Beckman and Rusty Brown film Matt Morgan please at the, at the Director over here by the B&M tent, if you see it. Shannon Beckman, Rusty Brown, if you guys are around, find Matt Morgan. All right, guys, coming up next, sorry, a little break there. 8.57 yesterday, boat number 24, Rick Fajan and Ernie Cox. They're going to need 10.23 to move into the lead today. And here he comes. I got it as close as I could for you so you wouldn't have to run too far from that boat. <laughs> yeah. Going to be just a hair shy there. 835, 1692 for your two-day total. How was Truman Lake for you out there this weekend? Well, a little rough this weekend, a little rough. You know, uh, I've been catching some better fish and practice days than what I did the last few days. You know, that puts a lot of them in the same place. All right, you're you just going to stay down there? <laughs> See how he's been in the boat all day, so he doesn't want to be any closer to you now. <laughs> Guys, we really appreciate you fishing with us. Thanks so much. <laughs> Two-day total at 1692. Coming up next, and I, I keep forgetting to say it, but there's a lot of subfish limits, and there's some great fish being caught. I, I don't want to downplay it too much because there's some excellent fish here in Truman Lakes. Probably a lot of fishermen said it's been the best fishery they've seen in quite some time. Good, good, healthy fish. Boat number 50, Marty Snyder and Jackie Albin. They had 969 yesterday. Great string. They're only going to need 911 to move into the lead today. And are you consistent, Jackie? Do you got the 911 today? He says it was a little harder today. I want you to come right over here. We're going to stare at this camera here. Look, it was awful close, though. Bounced up there. 903 puts you in there at 1872. Second place right now. Yeah. Not won't last for long. <laughs> well, you hope it does, though, right? I hope so. All right, anybody you guys like to thank? I see Stump Jumper series here on your, on your shirts. Yeah, it's a product I make for transducer, help protect them. There we go. So you can check those products out, guys. Locals here at, at, at Truman Lake, correct? Uh-huh. Uh, I've seen it this high in a long time. I heard that earlier. It said it's been in August. You know, it's unusually high. Yeah. Did that affect your guys' fishing? Oh, not really. The fish seem like they just moved off the trees today. A little tougher bite. All right. Well, guys, we sure appreciate you Fish American Crop Patrol with you. Hope to see you again next year. Jackie Alvin. Thanks, guys. All right. Coming up next, they had 944 yesterday. They're going to need 936 today. It's boat number 33. Team of Jeff Lewis and Matt Beckman. Got his Jinko fishing shirt and his muddy water bait shirt, and he's throwing the fish in there, and let's see what we got. Oh, look at this. 1101. You sacked him, buddy. Had a good day. You sacked we him. Had a really look at good that. Day. 2045 puts you way up there in first place. And I'll tell you what, an 11 pound string like that with the string you had yesterday and the guys had 10 pounds today, I'd say you're right in the hunt. What do you think? I hope so. I really do. I hope we move up. That was our goal today was to move up and I hope we had enough to move up. So there's a lot of, a lot of good fishermen in the top 10 still to come. There's still a lot to come right here in this line. So I really hope we move up. What changed for you yesterday to today? We didn't change a thing. You just 
We Those did not just, change a thing. We just didn't get a big bite yesterday like what we got today. Today we got several big bites, and um, we capitalized on the bites we got, and we just we rolled with it. You know, we just had, we had a good day. The stars aligned today, just not yesterday. We fell short yesterday, and today was better. There you go. Well, guys, 20... 2045. Great two day sack for you guys. I'm sure we'll be talking to you later. Congratulations, team of Jeff Lewis and Matt Bettman, new leaders. And he ran off. He's excited. Boy, it's shaping up now for a shootout here at Truman Lake. Coming up next, we had 927 yesterday. They're going to need 1118 today. Boat number 30, Mike Gelati and John Gelati. What do you say, guys? Better day uh, he says a better day. It needs to be 1118 better. What do you think? That ain't 1118 better. Boy, it bounced up there better. though. It's close. 981. Put your two-day total there at 1908. Almost that broke that day. 20. Yeah, he says I'll take any that any day. day. That's right. Oh, That's like, Whoa. They always jump. They were jumping, weren't they? Oh heck yeah. <laughs> Ranger Live. Well, that'll do it for you. There you go. No, uh, that's a good day. Anytime you can catch 19 pounds on Truman Lake, that's a heck of a two-day total. These guys that are weighing in are the best of the best. So well, these are some outstanding weights. I'll tell you what, you're talking about the best of the best, 1980 on Truman Lake, you're right up there in the hunt with the guys. Awesome. Congratulations on a great two-day total. Thank Thanks you. very much. You bet. You Not to mention, Gelati, you're in second place right now. All right. Coming up next, they had 977 yesterday. They're going to need 1068 to move into the lead today. They're boat number 22, Mike, Mark Englehart and Aaron Englehart. Guys, that looks like a pretty good string. How was it? It was pretty good. About the same as yesterday, I think. Look at this. The boy, they're climbing up there today. 979, a little short. 1956 for your two-day total. Puts you in about fourth place right now. It's pretty good. It's one day fishing. This one day is enough to hold you up at the check line? I don't know. We, we had a pretty good day. That's the one. That, I guess got to ask, you know, Truman Lake's notorious. Guys flip the field back and forth. Sometimes guys really whack them one day and just fall off their head today. It's really hard to be consistent here on Truman Lake. It is, it is, especially for a two-day event. Um, fishing today was a lot, it was tougher. We didn't catch as many fish. We caught quality fish, though, so had a pretty good day. Well, we're going to find out if it holds up for you guys, okay? Thank you. We sure appreciate you fishing with us. Thanks so much. Two-day total of 1956, team of Englehart and Englehart. Coming up next, we have boat number 63. It's the team of Brad Woody and Duke Montgomery. They had 802 yesterday. They're going to need 1243 today. As I said yesterday, he gets the best cowboy hat award. Yeah, it's because shade, my you are the only umbrella, it's all of it. You're Glass the water. only one that wears a cowboy hat, and you're going to have to change that. You know why? Why? Because everybody's going to know who you are on the water. No, I take it off when I'm fishing. They you take it off when you're fishing. Up, yeah. Okay. 631 today, 1433 total for tomorrow for your two-day total. It was hard for us today. We caught right everything but crappie. We caught enough catfish to feed everybody here. <laughs> and gar and carp and drum, bass, but we couldn't catch very many crappie. Now, did you guys know you're not supposed to use cheese or cut shad or anything like we that did. when you're crappie fishing? We used using live minnows. You, you use live minnows, live not the dead minnows. ones. Not the dead ones. Because when I get lazy minnows. and get dead minnows on there, I start getting them a catfish yeah, coming. So. We were all over everything but crappie. All right, you weren't just saving money? No, sir. Okay. I appreciate you fishing with us, guys. You. It's very uh, an honor with all season. You had a lot of fun with you guys. We'll Thanks so much. Soon. All right, we'll see you. Coming up next, they had 790 yesterday. They're going to need 1255 today. They are boat number four, team of Brent Billings, Brad Moore. Looks like tight lock sponsored there. How you doing? Not bad. Had did a better, better today did a, than what we did yesterday. Did do a better day um, today. 871, 6, 1661 for your two-day total. That little, was almost a tongue twister for me there. Yeah, it was a little bit of a tough tournament for us, but, you know, our goal was to do better than we did, did yesterday, and we did that. And now you guys have this Truman before, yeah, correct? Yeah, we have. We just kind of started in a big hole yesterday. Didn't come out of it. It happens. <laughs> Anybody you guys like to thank, Brent? Well, we'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, Stump Jumper and uh, – Family. Our families, wives. <laughs> All right. Brent, Brad, pleasure fishing with you. Thanks so much, Fish American Crappie Trail. You bet. All right, coming up, we have got the Pro's Choice Marine sponsor, Bobby Garland, Everhart's Beaver Baits team of boat number 38, Barry Morrow and Chad Moppin. They are locals here at Truman Lake. They had 979 yesterday. Going to need 1066 today. He's digging them out there. And there he comes. 
No slipping. Going to 1066 today. Boy, it got up there, didn't it? Just a hair shy, it looks like. But 927 for your two-day total of 1906. Going to put you right now in third place, Chad. Okay, thank you. That's it. What tough day today. We, uh, we had a bite, big bite fit. They bit for about two hours, hour and a half, and then all we could catch was little bitty fish. So we had about an hour and a half of good fishing, and then we, we looked for fish all day, couldn't find them. Now, did you guys fight a rig or one pole or two pole? Well, we, hybrid. we did spider rig most of the morning, and uh, we waited this afternoon and, and tried to dip some trees. We caught fish, but they were less than a pound or a pound fish, and we needed a pound and a half fish to move up. Gotcha. Guys, good to see you again. A pleasure, Barry Marlow. Always a pleasure to see you up here. Thanks Thank for Fishing American Crop Trail with us. I'll give you fish back. Thanks. Take care. See you, Barry. All right, coming up next, they had 8.30. On day one, they're going to need 12.15 to take the lead. Current leaders right now are Lewis and Beckman with 20.45. Boat number 52, Billy Don Surface and Craig Hansen. Here comes Billy Don. What do you say, my friend? Oh, tough for us today. Tough? Yeah. yeah but they're happy fish, though. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. They're going to calm down here in just a second. Help them out there. 6.88 on your 8.30, 15.18 for two-day total. How was Truman for you this weekend? Oh, it was rough. It's rough. <laughs> <laughs> well, you drove fast. Oh, yeah. I know uh, that. You know why? Why is that? Because your wind burnt right here and oh, here. Oh, yeah. You, like, tore it up. You stayed behind the windshield, didn't you? Most of the time, yes. Yeah, I can tell. See the difference? <laughs> All right. Anybody you guys like to thank real quick? Uh, Ozark Rods. All right. Guys, pleasure. Billy Don, Service Craig. Thanks for Fish American Crop Show with it. You bet. All right, coming up next, got one of the prettiest Ranger boats out there. Not as pretty as red suspenders, though. I don't think I've ever seen you without red suspenders on. They had 8.50 yesterday, going to need 11.95 today. Team of Kent Braun and Buster Braun. Get on up here, Buster. Don't act so tired. It's been a rough day. Been a rough day. 7.68 on your 8.50. That's going to be 16.18 for your two-day total. Not bad for Truman for you guys. No, we still have a boat. That's right. Barely. Apparently? Barely. Yeah. We, we jumped a floater this morning. <laughs> Got a little air. Little, have a little fun there. Everything. Nothing's leaking, and it's not leaking water or oil or anything. So I there guess you go. Well, all right. Good testament for Ranger Boats, guys. Yeah. It's good to see you guys. Thanks for Fish American Crop Show with us. All right. Coming up next, they had 6.09 yesterday. Start a little slow. Boat number 32, James Laswell and Nate Noblet. James, I don't want to tell you you're going to need 1436 to take the lead today. Come on, Nate. You got two-pound average in there? No. All right. No. I, will, I will not pick on you, okay? All right. <laughs> a little tougher day for you yep. today? A lot tougher day today than it was yesterday. 481, 1090 for your two-day total. <laughs> now, you know what, hey, rough, James, I'm a Facebook we, stalker. I know you've been yeah. excited about coming down. You're posting yeah. all the time. Going to Truman, going to do it, going to whack them. Yeah, we just, you know, we did our best. It's the first time on the lake. I thought we did pretty good. But, well, you've been a great spokesman for American Crappie Trail. We thank you so much for fishing with us. Anybody you guys like to thank? Uh, being in polls, magic bait. There you go. Guys, pleasure. Hope to see you guys again next year. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, coming up, we have the team of Josh Gowan and Alex Rude, boat number 31. They had 770 yesterday, going to need 1275 today. They were our Lake Darbone champions, walked away with the Ranger boat, qualified for the national championship, helped us out a ton on the internet. And he's going to come up and weigh seven more fish today. Got 12.75 in there, Josh? I think it's a little short. Just a hair short. Want to yeah. toss Gracie in there, see if it helps out? It, it probably still wouldn't make it. 6.42, 14.12, two-day total. It's a First, tough day. Yeah, but it wasn't a tough season for you. Yeah, it was a tough season. Outside of, uh, outside of Darbone, it was pretty tough. You got a win. You guys did great. Going to see you down at Lake of the Ozarks. Absolutely. Can't Gonna look wait. To see if you can add, add to the national championship with that. That's right. We're coming on strong. That's what we can do. Anybody you'd like to thank or add? 
Um, just the city of Clinton and the whole Truman Lake area, ACT obviously for putting on such a good show, and all of our sponsors. Very good. Guys, it was a pleasure talking to you all season long. It's been a lot of fun. Fun with Gracie too. Josh Gowan, Alex Rude. Thanks guys. Appreciate you fishing with us. All right, coming up next. Oh, the trailer didn't work. I, I got it. We got a walk-in, folks. Got team number eight, Rusty Brown. Shannon Beckman had 8.58 yesterday. Going to need 11.87 today. You know, we got so much to talk about. I don't even know where to start. Quite a morning. It was it? quite a morning. Yeah. Yeah, you, we got a little slow start. We was turning out here in the parking lot. Eight, hey, no, 8.85, 17.43 for first day total. I want to steal your story. You know, I think you're the one that tore it up. I kind of, but anyways, our have spring, you ever heard the story? If I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have yeah, any luck at yeah, all. Yeah, that's kind of what we had. But uh, there's a there's one little bitty ditch out there, the smallest one in the world. And we hooked our trailer. He hooked tire his trailer and it. tore his leaf springer off his trailer first thing this morning. Yeah. But uh, Matt, he was there. He showed up, and we drug and what kicked. And Matt was there. Who crawled underneath it and strapped well, that and thing Jamie, up? Well, Jamie, Jamie, he crawled. Are you kidding me? Force. Jeez, you but guys sit and talk fishing. I'm calling you the boat. We dragging it down there with the chain, but I, we. I know. But I can't say enough. You know, <laughs> how many places can you go? And the tournament director comes, and everybody gathers up, and we shove a boat over the hill. I mean, and get it in the water. I can't say enough. We waited a long time for a circuit like this. I mean, it's good people and good pay and. Well, I tell you what, guys that don't know Shannon and Rusty, you guys are an absolute threat on Lake of the Ozarks. I hope. And you're you going to be there uh, at the national championship. Matt asked me what it'd be won on and whatever I got tied on probably. No, well, I, I guarantee don't. you said one pull <laughs> dock shooting. We, you know, spider riggers don't have a chance, It'll do they? It'll be whatever we got tied on. There you on. go. I Shannon hope. Beckman, Rusty Brown, guys. Thank great you. pleasure. It's been an honor. Thanks so much. Appreciate you fishing with us. If you want one. I don't know if you want that thing or not, man. Frame it. Hmm? Frame it. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> And they still have a smile on their face. Boy, they took a licking today. Coming up next, we have boat number 60, Eric Weathup and Matt Webster. They had 861 yesterday. Going to need 1184 today. Get on up here, Eric. See what you got. Other than that smile and your American Crappie T-shirt on. <laughs> yeah. All right. We didn't get them today. 1184, he said he didn't get them today. Six, nine, oh, 689. That's going to put you there at 1550 for your two-day total. Look right there in the camera and thank your family and everybody you want to and your sponsors. Uh, I'd like to thank my wife, Christina. Yeah, see? Now she's over there. There you go. And uh, Good cover. Matt for fishing with me and Matt, American oh, Coffee Trail. Matt, anything you'd like to add? Yeah, I'd like to thank my wife for letting us come and fish, putting up with the late nights and early mornings. Yeah. All right. That's, That's it. All. That's all you get, guys. Appreciate you fishing with us. Good to see you guys again. You got to take your fish. Eric, I'm not holding your fish for you. You got to take them. Thank you very much. I do. You want one? Just for you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, coming up next, they had a tough first day start, 575. They're going to need 1470 to move into the lead. Boat number two, Kyler Beckman and Joe Popejoy. There he comes up. Hop that thing like a gazelle. <laughs> A little bit better today for you, wasn't it? A little bit better today. At least we got our limit today. 762, 1337, two-day total. How was your experience here at Truman Lake? It was Don't tough say tough. Us. It was. It was tough for us. All right. Tough. Any guys you'd like to thank or add? Um, let's, take, uh, let's think double seat. Um, we didn't get to use them this time, you know, because we were one pulling, but everyone needs to go check them out. They got really good seats. Very good. I'm going to grab your fish here. I just dropped off the table for you. <laughs> and we sure appreciate you guys fishing American Crappie Show with us. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Set that thing the other way here. All right, coming up next, we had another tough day for Bruce McKeg and Paul Hanley. Boat number 34 had 504 yesterday, but you only need 15 pounds a day to move into the lead. Only. Only. Got four fish today. It was tough, huh? It was tough. We got some better fish, but. Uh it was a tough day. 429, 933, two day total. Anybody you guys like to thank? Yeah, not in particular. Uh, <laughs> but I tell you what, it was a pleasure seeing you, meeting you. Bruce, thanks for fishing American Crop Show with us. Thanks so much. I'm going to make you take your fish, too. Here you go, Bruce. Thanks so much, guys. All right. 
We've got a little lull here. Let's talk a little bit about contingencies. Folks here at American Crop Patrol, we pay out 100% of the entry fees, but also there is a large possibility that there's extra money that can be won too. Every angler that spends $50 in Lucas Oil products can bring in their receipts. They get a ticket. And at the close of the weigh-in, we take two drawings for $500. So any angler out there that's, that's used Lucas Marine products qualify for a $500 drawing on top of everything else they've earned. So that's a great deal. Also, don't forget there are Ranger Cup contingencies, B&M, Rockport Rattlers, Super Jigs, Bobby Garland, Power Pole. All of our sponsors are kicking in the extra cash if these anglers qualify by using their products. So folks, use our sponsors, check out their merchandise, and it'll win you some extra money along the way as well. Coming up next, they were just a hair out of 10th place, folks. They just missed the top 10, but they came in with 995. They're going to need 1050 to move into the lead today. They do have a seven fish limit. Though they aren't. Folks, we're down to our top 10. I was just thinking about it, but. You should have just stopped me right up there, Noel. Give me that look. Folks, we're ready for the top ten. How about that? We buzzed right through it. We're going to tell you what we're going to do. Let's take a quick little break. We're going to come right back. We're going to start in the top ten and find out who the next Truman Lake champ is going to be. Folks, stick around. We'll be right back. You know, I've never really had an office job. Oh, <laughs> morning, Skate. Morning, Edwin. Go to TeamGTFishing.com to see more. You bought her many years ago, and she's been there for you every day since. It's because you've taken care of her, pampered her. Only the best will do. That's why you choose Lucas Oil Marine Products to protect her. Every day she starts, gets you there, and gets you back. Even after all these years, Lucas Oil Marine Products because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, Go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, BNM. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray haze. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell of fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. And we're back, guys, right over here. Welcome back to the American Crappie Trail. It's time for our top 10 anglers from yesterday. Lots of 10-pound strings, only one, just a barely under 9 pounds. Let's talk about this weigh-in ticket you gave me back that I stole back from you. Day 1, 944. We have Jeff Lewis and Matt Beckman here. I, I think I did it backwards. Jeff Lewis, Matt Beckman. 944 on day 1. Came out of nowhere. Whacked a huge string, 1101. So far, the heaviest string of the tournament overall right now. Really quickly, I don't want to talk about patterns or anything else. Spider rigging or one pulling? Jig fishing, one pole. One pole in one the trees. One pole, absolutely. Hedge, cedar, or timber? Um, or your own private brush pile um, you snuck around there? A little bit all three. A little you bit know, all, we, all we three. Had, you know, okay. All three, we had you know, oak stumps, black stumps, whatever you want to call them, hedge trees and underwater stuff, you know, all three. So. Okay, as we get down here to this top 10 shootout, you know the riggers are coming. Absolutely, Some of the best They're riggers coming. in the world are coming. <laughs> They're coming. And we're about to find out if the one polers are going to show up the riggers. I don't know if we'll, I, I don't think we'll hold it, but we'll, we'll, we'll find we'll, out. We'll are you guys ready? Absolutely. Are you let's nervous at all? He says, let's get it on. You guys ready to get it on? Go. Let's see who our top 10. Right now, in 10th place, they had 995. They're going to need 1050 to come on into the lead. Boat number 25, local anglers, Noel Fernandez and Alan Morgan. Big round of applause, guys. Here they come. come 
Oh, he was starting to trash talk you already, Noel. All right, it's going to take 10.50. Oh, he's getting right up there just a hair shy. 9.05, put you 19 pounds even on the money, just a hair off. Let's get here and talk about it just a second, Noel. Right over here, close. Yeah, it, the bite wasn't quite as good as it was yesterday for bigger fish. These fish don't, didn't have the shoulders they had yesterday. And we caught our fish early, and the last three hours, we... It wasn't that good. I mean, it wasn't we, that good. Uh, did, uh, did the conditions change for you? You know, the sun came out today, and they talked about, you know, the fish might have got a little tighter to structure, and yeah. I don't know, did you guys rig or jig fish? We did both. Did both? We did both. We rigged in the morning, and then in the afternoon, we started dipping trees, trying to find, you know, a kicker fish, uh, you know, maybe a two-pounder, but... Uh, <clears throat> That's the way it is. That's fishing. All right. Well, I know you guys want to thank you for your sponsors here real quick. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bucksaw, uh, uh, Stump Jumpers, and we also got uh, oh, uh, Crappie Town. Yep, Crappie Town. Yes, sir. Very good. Well, what I can tell you guys now is congratulations on making the top ten. That is a tough feat in a field like this. In two days. Yeah, you have something to be very, very proud of. Congratulations. Noel, Allen, congratulations. Good finish on your two-day. Here's your fish back, Allen. I'm going to give those to you, Noel. Thanks so much. All right, now there's a guarantee it's about to happen right now. You know what that is? We, we made the top ten. You're in tenth place right now, guaranteed no guaranteed. matter what. So you made the cut, buddy. We did, and that was our goal coming into this whole thing, you know, was to get in a t the top ten. You know, anytime you can get in a top ten against the best of the, in the country, then you're doing good. There you go. So, so you're ready to see if we can move absolutely. on to another one? Let's go. What do you say, guys? Ready to go again? They're ready. They had 10.02 yesterday. They're going to need 10.43 to knock these guys out of the seats. They are boat number 39, team of Keith Mueller and Wes Cooper. Come out there, this nice little Pantera, too. And I'll tell you what, folks, top 10 fishermen yesterday fished by himself. And that's a feat, isn't it, Wes? All right, going to need 1043 today. Not close. <laughs> going to fall just a hair off, but you know what? 730, put your two-day total there at 1732. Uh, I needed my partner. He's always good for a couple big fish. <laughs> yeah, I know, and you know what? Hats off to you because it yeah. is a feat. I've seen Charlie Bunning. I saw him do it oh, at the yeah, last lake doing it by good. himself. Yeah. It, it does something. I saw Whitey Outlaw do it. Oh, yeah. And there's, yeah. there's something to be said about fishing by yourself. Yeah, yeah I fished by Whitey uh, all day yesterday, and then... Uh, for a while today and I kind of had a freak out moment at about 11 o'clock and made a big move that I shouldn't have made and <laughs> I should have just stayed and grounded out like I did yesterday and anybody you'd like to thank uh yeah Mr. Crappie and Lou's Rods and Bucksaw or I mean uh, uh you can thank Bucksaw yeah, too yeah, it's all right yeah, yeah. Bucksaw for man they always do a heck of a job and American Crappie Trail and everybody for coming out and I just I had a good time caught a lot of fish had a real good day on Thursday a good day yesterday and couldn't do it three days in a row. <laughs> and I do owe you an apology this morning. He's just being all, oh, all yeah. himself and going. I said, you know, do you remember where you finished yesterday? He said, yeah, man, I finished ninth. <laughs> and I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, no, I just wonder where I'm supposed to park at. Are you, that, are you top ten? <laughs> that where you top ten, though. Hey, but congratulations. You, you made the best. Top ten first day, top ten day two. Congratulations. Wes Cooper, everybody. Thank you. Man, how are you guys feeling now? Good. That 11 pounds looking better and better, awesome. isn't it? Awesome. Love it. All right. Now, your twitchy knee, you get nervous? <laughs> uh, trollers are coming. <laughs> he said the trollers are coming. <laughs> Let's see who we got here. Yesterday, they had 10.04. They're going to need 10.41 to move into the lead today. They are boat number 54. They are the B&M sponsored team of Michael Walters and Rick Solomon. All right. And away you go. Gonna need 1041 today, guys. Ain't got it. He said, gonna have it. Let's turn here and look at the camera. I'll tell you what it weighs. You can't look over there. It is gonna be at least a hair short. Gonna be 858. Puts you up there at 1862. Two day total. You're still in the top 10 right now, holding on. Well, that's good. But we got, what, seven more to go? Something like Where that. Where am I at? Right now, you are setting Solomon Solomon. I don't know where you went. We went to the top. You went to the top and then right back down to the Four bottom. One. Where did you Four. go? There you are. You're in eighth place right now. All right. That's All right. not bad, right? 
Hopefully we stay on the money. That'll work. We're going to find out. Guys, anybody you'd like to thank? Great two-day total oh, for yeah. you, by the way. Congratulations on your top ten finish. Oh, yeah. Hummingbird, Minn Kota, um, Tightlock, um, B&M, and Southern Pro. There you and go. And we stayed at uh, Bucks also. Did you that have a good experience good. here on the lake? Oh, yeah. Yep. Real great. Real great. Did conditions change for you guys today out there on the water? Oh, yeah. Yesterday we had, what, 10.04, and mm -hmm. we caught those fish by 10 o'clock. Today at 10 o'clock we had nothing, and we made four moves till we found fish. A lot of guys say when you catch them early, you really fight keeping them alive throughout the day. Do you guys have any issues with Warsaw fish today or Truman Lake fish? We, yesterday we caught them all early, early, and we had no problems. Yep, I did, I've been hearing a lot. The angler said that the fishery was in great shape. Fish looked really, really good. So. Well, they come and talk to me. I'll tell them how to take care of that. There you go. Right. <laughs> guys, we appreciate it. Congratulations, two-day total. Hope, go I ahead. I want to thank my wife for uh, putting up with me and all this traveling. Mine too. And mine too. Gotcha. We all want to thank our wives. Gotcha. <laughs> Congratulations, guys, on your top ten. All right. Now. Another one down. Getting there. We're still coming. you got to be starting to get a little nervous. Oh, yeah. I'm, you, start nervous quite, you start thinking, maybe I did enough. Not to win. No way. You don't know that, right? Uh, it, well, let me tell you what. Coming up next, you got a couple of guys that they live up here. They yep. fish up here. Yep. They kind of know that they know this game pretty good. Oh, yeah. They can fish. They you, know what they're doing. You know, the old guys are the smart guys. Yeah. We're um, going to find out. There you go. Folks, our Martin Metal Sponsor team coming up right now. They had 10.06 yesterday. They're going to need 10.39 today. Top 10 finish for them yesterday. Team of Paul Alpers and Clint Hebden. Man, I hear them cheering. They say, come on, old dudes. I'm so glad it took a whole season, but we got Clint to walking. How yeah. about that? Hey, hey, I love it. I love it. All right, we're going to need. I threw his two-wheel scooter in the lake. No, all right, 1039 to take the lead. Going to be just a hair short for you guys. They're good and alive, ain't they? They are. Eight, 821, two-day total, 1827. Going to push you just out of the top 10. Except for the 160 that we didn't make it here with. Oh, <laughs> Is that the one that did it? It's only, I mean, that wouldn't give us enough, but it was really tough. We nursed him all day long, and about 1 o'clock he died. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we, we had a good time. Went right back to the same place we went uh, yesterday where we caught the big fish and caught 20 fish out of that spot. Not one of them was much over a pound one. Don't know what happened to the big ones. They just wasn't there. And then we went in shallow. Clint caught the big fish that died. And then, uh, you know, it, just, it was a fun day. Uh, traveled all over the same spots we fished. But I want to thank Martin Metal, Graber Post Buildings. Uh, we couldn't be here without them and all of my other sponsors. Do want to thank uh, Angie and Matt for putting on the best show in the country. We're finally here where we need to be. Like Sam said, guys, bring a friend. Come and fish with us. Have fun, because this is the only time in your life you're ever going to be able to win money like this. And there's no lie if we get enough numbers, one day we might be able to fish and not have to work. There you go. So, you know, I want to thank Bucksall, the tourism of Clinton. Jim puts on a heck of a show here. He's really helped out there running around with camera boat. And thank all you spectators for showing up. And thank the American Crappie Trail for the best show in the country. There you go, Clinton. Look at this crowd, by the way. How about that crowd here at Clinton, Missouri? That's something else. Now, real quick, one more thing I'm going to touch about, because we got to talk about the national championship coming to the Lake of the Ozarks okay. in, in October. Clint. You've had national championship wins there before. You are a very well-known astute dock shooter. You make your own specialty bait design just for that. You're very versatile with spider rigging and dock shooting as well. What are we going to see to expect from you guys coming up in October? Well, we're, uh, just a little bit, not a whole lot, but uh, we're going to practice two days trolling, two days, well, one day shooting docks. So this is the best dock shooter in the country as far as I'm concerned. But uh, I'm just going to run the boat and let him shoot him. I'm going to net him. You there know? you go. Because when, uh, when I shoot a dock, I might hit somebody up on the porch or under the deal. And, you know. <laughs> but, uh, but no, it, it can be won anyway. The Lake of the Ozarks is you can cast the points. And we was talking about that the other day. You know, we never troll ever at the Lake of the Ozarks in tournaments. And we won Truman and I, my old partner, four first place finishes. Guess what we did? We casted a road runner against the rocks on the points and they still bite that away folks so you know don't but one other thing i want to say be sure and get on the website stay at all our host lodgings down there they're all listed 
Uh, David didn't get to come up. He's got real nice cabins down there on Niagara, a good place to stay in, and, of course, all the hotels, too. But be calling in as soon as you can because these things will fill up. And be sure and support our host lodgings, just like you all do right here in uh, Clinton in Henry County. Very good. Guys, congratulations on your top 10 finish. Looking forward to seeing you at Lake of the Ozarks. Thanks so much. We're going to try to win that one. I hope you do. See you guys later. Congratulations, Clint Hibden and Paul Alpers. All right, we're getting closer, guys. Look who we got coming in here. He's a troller. He's a troller. He's, He's from Real Foot Lake. There you go. These guys have been at the top all year long. I think they're in second place angle of your points, too. Yep. Feel nervous yet? Bring it. Let's see what let's they got. Let's get it on. He says, let's get it on. All right, guys. They had 1029 yesterday. They've been a threat on every lake. No threat again today. They are the team of Tim Blackley and Jackie Van Cleve. Going to need 1016 to move into the lead. Here he comes, Jackie. You're not hooping and hollering like you always do. Well, we went down a little bit. You went know, down a, a little day. bit. Oh, we, you did, did. we did 8.15. That's great. 8.15, 18.44 hey. for your two-day total, guys. Let's turn. You got to turn around here. 18.44. We're looking at this camera today, okay? Right. I got you. You got it? Got it. We got it all. We went to change the pace today. We had to come up like the red carpet for you uh, guys. That's great. Enjoy the show. Uh, excellent, excellent job putting the tournament on. All right, now here's a question. Didn't get the win today. We got that. It's okay. You guys are up there. But let's talk about these angle of the year points. Are you concerned with this finish right now and how the boys coming up in front of you are going to be today? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's going to be a shootout at the last tournament. Uh, you know, Ronnie and Steve were leading. We were in second. I don't know how this is going nine, to shake you're out. You're only nine points out of the Yeah, league. I don't know how this is going to shake out. But, uh, you know, we'll be giving it our all when we come to Lake of the Ozarks. Well, guys, that's right. It's not over till it's over. But I got to tell you guys, it's been an absolute honor to be able to travel with you guys this year. It's been a pleasure to meet you both. I didn't go blackly the very got first right. time, but we got it right from there on. Yep. I really appreciate you guys fishing with us. We'd Jackie, like to thank our sponsors. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Strike, strike absolutely. King Lure Company. I mean, they, you know, they, they're the number one lure company in the industry. Uh, Abernathy Marine, uh, B&M &M Poles, the best poles on the market. Uh, and if you watch a TV show later on, I guess next year, Jackie landed in the boat a 60-pound buffalo on a 16-foot BGJ P a today. Six, I, I heard the camera said that B&M rod was wrapped all the way around. It was doubled around, over, but boy. we landed it. So well, they're, they're our tough poles. If that's I, the only way you make good TV, man, take it. All right, we do what Listen, we can. <laughs> guys, congratulations on your top 10 finish. Tim Blackley, Jackie Van Cleve, folks. Boy, she's tightening up now. You passed up one of the best riggers in the world. Absolutely. I'm ready. Don't tell me you're not getting nervous. I'm, I'm, I've been nervous from the get-go. Well, you were all playing all cool. Well, now he's getting that my little, leg, my leg you that little, that little 18 year old girl just came out. Oh, I don't know, man. I'm going to get a little close here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and you're getting quiet. He's he's, quiet. You guys can't see it. There's like some cold little balls of sweat <laughs> coming up right there. All right, guys. Here we go again. Are you ready? Lucas Oil sponsored. B&M sponsored. They've been up in the top all season long. Those guys are due. They had 10.30 yesterday. Going to need 10.15 today. Folks, let's give it up for Kent Watson, Matthew Outlaw. All right, guys, 10.15 to move in. Oh, she's going to roll back just a little bit. 8.81, 19.11 for two-day total. Puts you up there in about second or third place. Can't get over here. Look, we're going to work on this camera here today, okay? You can't get on my side. you got to stay over here. Great two-day for you here at Truman Lake. I know you guys aren't any strangers to Truman Lake, are you? I've been here, um, this is probably my third or fourth time to come here. We had a good time, caught a lot of fish. Um, we was just two or three good fish short today. Um, we picked up some ground on Jackie and Tim. Yes, you so, did. What are you guys, fourth or fifth in points right now? We was third coming third in there. Third in points, yeah. Just a little behind them, so it'll make it real I close. I think you're going to gain some ground quite a bit there. Now, guys... I am so grateful and fortunate you guys are fishing here because you guys have provided something that the rest of the anglers haven't done. You know what that is? Pressure. Yeah. You guys have been <laughs> right there on their tails all season long. And I know coming up National Championship Lake of the Ozarks, you guys are way overdue. Yeah, it'd be nice to go out there and have a couple good days. Um, neither one of us have ever been on that lake, so um, it ought to be exciting. I hear it's great fishing. Um, We'll be looking forward to trying it out. There you go. Matt, anything you'd like to add today? No, I pretty much sums it up. Pretty much sums it up. Guys, congratulations on a great top 10 finish. Kit Watson, Matthew Outlaw, two-day total. 
1911. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Now we're getting to the local riggers. Guys, yes. you're getting up there now. This is where we're going to get kicked out right here. Fourth place finisher, correct? Yeah. We got four left? Like you're counting them, aren't you? Yeah. All right, fourth place. These guys are threats all over the place. They're Truman Lake locals. They have uh, got all the secret spots. We're about to find out. They had a great string yesterday of 1056. Going to need 989 to take you out of the hot seat today. Their boat number 10, Power Pole sponsor, Ranger Bass Boats, Charles Bunning and Travis Bunning. All right, Travis. Got seven in there today. Look, he took off there, going to need 989, just a hair short, 959. You missed all the excitement by the time you got up here, Charlie. <laughs> How, congratulations. You had 959, 2015 for your two-day total. Just a little hair, about three-tenths out. Go ahead. Go ahead, Travis. Oh, I, I told Dad before we come in, you know, we needed two more bites today. Um, we needed a pound. That would gain us, you know, four to five tenths right there. But we struggled early, you know. Uh, the fish we caught yesterday weren't there today. Um, we kind of started scrambling and was lucky to come up with the bag we had. So, Well, we had, before the, the weigh-in started, we had a pregame show, and I was lucky enough to sit and talk with Sam Heath a little bit, and we got to pick, okay? And I got to tell you, I didn't pick you guys. I didn't. You done good. But Sam did. He didn't do so good. <laughs> and we, we, we talked about the fact that we thought the spider riggers were going to shine today. Did you guys stay on the spider rig all day long, or did you move to one pole, or did you do a hybrid of both? No, we spider rigged all day. Um, you know, when Dad pre-fished on Wednesday, the fish were way off the side of the tree. Spider rig, it made sense. As the week went on, they got tighter and tighter into the structure. Um, we ended up finding our fish later in the day and just uh, stump fields, you know, stuff that you couldn't visually see. So, I'm sure you, got, you guys are masters of electronics and masters on the side scanning. Do you think when the sun came out today, those fish got tighter to those stump fields? I think so. You know, they got tighter into the shade like they normally do. Um, for us, they, don't, they went down in the water column also. So. Okay. Very good. Charlie, anything you'd like to add? Yeah, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Power Pole. Uh, without them, we couldn't do it. Uh, Ranger Boats, uh, as you see, we just got our new one in. Uh, double seats. They're, uh, if you ever set one, if you want to, we got our setting over there. Uh, Hummingbird Electronics, if you haven't run a 360, you need to do it because that's where we caught most of our fish with the 360. Uh, Muddy Water Baits, Travis's bait company, we caught most of our, we do a double rig and where the Muddy Water's on the bottom and Minna's on top and most of our good fish come off of plastic. Uh, who else? That's it, he says. Guys, i got to tell you, uh, Sam Heaton said it before. Folks, if you have any questions about any of these products, Charlie and Travis are the most knowledgeable, astute guys. They're more than welcome to be approachable. You guys come ask me any questions you want to help you out any way you can. Congratulations on a great top ten, guys. Just a hair out. Travis Bunny, Charlie Bunny. Thank you, guys. Two-day total, 20 pounds, 15. Mercy. That was close, wasn't it? It was, but... This is the guy to be looking out for. Right All right, here. we're about to find out, Best guys. Of the country. All right, we're going to find out, folks. These guys were our Kentucky Lake winners. They are spider rigging extraordinaires. I'm sure they spider rig again today because I can see the rods and everything going off the back. They had 1057 yesterday. They're going to lead 988 to take the lead today. Their team number 16. B&M sponsored, Super Clean sponsored, Roadrunner sponsored. Very, very well-known touring anglers. Let's give it up for Ronnie Caps and Steve Coleman. All right, brother. 988 puts you up there. Look out. Oh, my goodness. 917, just a hair short, Steve. Man, them one polars got you today. What's going on man, there? Man, I know it. We just didn't do it, man. I know we caught a lot of fish, uh, not as many as yesterday, but, you know, we have... Um, we, we fished a perfect game, perfect. Not, not, uh, we lost one, one fish that could have made a little bit of difference, which don't take much. So uh, other than that, we've done exactly what we're supposed to do and um, put the hooks where they were for the whole day, never missed a beat. Hey, B&M and, &M and uh, 16 pounds on six pound line, we were really ultra light fishing and trying to get a big bite doing that. And uh, most of the time it works out for us, but I hadn't caught a big bite on this lake in nine days. <sighs> This is my ninth day. I have caught a pound three quarters, best I can do. So wow. Obviously, I'm fishing on the wrong river. <laughs> the wrong river. Well, guys, we had pre-show this morning. I got to talk to Sam Heaton a little bit. He always picks you guys. 
So he couldn't pick you this time. I wouldn't let him. I don't know. So he picks some spider riggers, but I have my money on you guys today, and I'll tell you why. This morning, I've never seen the intensity that you guys had. You were focused. You were ready to go. I made the comment. I said, I talked to Steve this morning, and I said, what do you, what do you think is going to happen? He says, I think we're going to have some company. He said, Mom, we'll catch those fish if they're beside us or not. Yeah, you know, that company's going to come. We had about four boats with us in, um, in an area right there, and it, it don't help any for sure. But um, the fish, they get a little smarter after a day or two of the, of the, of the series found it and, and uh, we give it to them but anyway we had a great time had um, Truman Lake man awesome place to come we always uh, enjoy coming we hate the drive but we always enjoy it when we get here um, we have to say thanks to super clean for being the 27 the sponsor uh oh here it goes anyway B&M polls um, gosh couldn't do it without B&M and um, just glad to That's glad it. to have made it you guys stayed right there on the top. On a, I lost myself there. You guys stayed right up there in the angle of the race points. You did what you needed to do going into the national championship. You got to feel good about that. Oh, wonderful. Yep. And you got to feel good about this top 10 finish. You guys are right there at the top. Ronnie Cap, Steve Coleman, congratulations. Great top 10 finish. Thanks so much. All right, guys. Thank you, Steve. All right, we think we only have a couple left here, don't we? Only a couple left. A couple. Them riggers didn't do what you thought they were going to do, did they? Uh, they? They sure haven't. We'll see. We'll see what this guy does. Uh, we're going to find out, okay? <laughs> All right, yesterday, these guys are Truman Lake Hammers. They had 1074 yesterday. They're going to need 971 today. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for David Cox and Steve Hockett. All right, guys, 971 to move in today. What happened here? 858, 1932 for your two day total. Guys, mercy, mercy. Uh, we just didn't get to big bites today. Um, probably made a few bad choices. Just the bite was slower, didn't get as many bites. And just, you know, we got so much stuff to do, so many good places that we jumped around trying different things. And it just, you know, we just made bad decisions, didn't work out for us today. You guys are always threats here. You guys have won a lot here on, Lake, on, on Truman Lake. Not, not trying to sell it down yeah. that you guys, you know, you didn't do it today, but you guys passed up some of the best guys in the country. Great, great finish today. Just what's your day today? Yeah, yeah. You got you to gotta get, you got to make good choices and, and the fish got to cooperate. Um, this year or today, you know, we just, you know, where we caught fish yesterday, we did today and we kind of knew that was going in. It probably wouldn't work. So we tried different places and just, just, we just didn't get the big bites. We caught fish, caught the same fish we had yesterday. So yesterday we had four big old fish and we didn't have those four today. You know, I'm not sure, but I believe the top five qualifiers qualify for the national championship. I think you guys are locked in for that. So hopefully we'll be able to see you guys at Lake of the Ozarks too, the national oh. championship. Oh, absolutely. All right, guys, Steve Hockett, David Cox, congratulations, great two day finish. Two day total of 1932. Guys, appreciate you fishing with us. Thanks so much. Well, we're getting down to the last one, guys. Hey, it's time for you guys to get up here and take a look with us. Come on over here real quick. No reason for you guys to stand. I want you to be able to see it with us. These guys caught what you caught today. So if they can do what they did today, your guys are out. If they did what you did today, it's anybody's game. What do you think? You we'll see. It's hard, it's hard telling. It really is. You don't know what's going to come out of that live well. All right, guys. Right now, they had 1091 yesterday. They're going to need 954 to be our next Truman Lake champion. I want you to step right over here on the side just a little bit. We're going to bring up the team of Jim Dan and Don Zufall. If they've got 954, they're our Truman Lake champions. If they don't have 954, you fooled the whole crowd. You shocked them all. I don't think it's going to happen. You don't think it's going to happen? What, did you get a sneak peek? They got them. Right, they say this is going to be really close. Guys, I'm ready when you are. Let's get it it's on. It's time to find out who our Truman Lake champion is going to be. Jim Dan, Don Zufall, 1091 yesterday, need 954 today. Guys, who's going to be our next Truman champion? We're about to find out right now. Donnie, get over here. we got to take a look. You can shake hands afterward. 954 to take the lead. Matt says it's going to be really close. Here we go, guys. 905, not enough to do it. Dog. Matt Beckman, you guys are our Truman Lake champions right here. Came from out of the top ten. Jeff Lewis, Matt Beckman, you guys did it. Dang, Donnie. Holy cow, holy cow. How was that for a finish? That was good, but not good enough. Matt's hard to beat. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to talk to you in just a minute. Step on your side. Matt, how about it? What's going through your mind right uh, now? 
Everything. It's hard, it's hard to explain. There's so much going through my mind right now. Uh, we had an unbelievable day of fishing today. It was absolutely unbelievable. You have 11 pounds in August on Truman Lake if, against the best of the best. I mean, it's, it's just hard to explain. But we have been on a roll. You know, we, we took a Crappie Masters one pole challenge in June. And Jeff had a good finish in our local club tournament after that. And then, you know, to win this, it's just... We're on a roll. Look what it's, Matt it's, Morgan's it's got for you guys. Check right. out, check out this trophy. Matt Beckman, Jeff. Come here, Jeff. Got your ticket two-day total, 2045. Hold it up, Jeff Lewis, Matt Beckman. You guys are our Truman Lake champions. <laughs> Folks, stick around. We got a lot more to talk to these guys about. We're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be right back. You know, I've never really had an office job. Oh, morning, Skate. Morning, Edwin. Go to TeamGTFishing.com to see more. You bought her many years ago. And she's been there for you every day since. It's because you've taken care of her, pampered her. Only the best will do. That's why you choose Lucas Oil Marine Products to protect her. Every day she starts, gets you there, and gets you back. Even after all these years. Lucas Oil Marine Products. Because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell for fish. Look, if you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. Here at the big show, we got the winners of the Truman Lake Reservoir. How'd you do it, brother? Uh, we single pole jig fished, you know, all day, you know, standing cover. That's, um, we, um, we started out trolling in the mornings, you know, we gave it an hour and a half each morning. We're not very good at it. We didn't catch any fish doing it. So we put everything away both days and we picked up our jig poles, what we're good at, and we went out and we went fishing. So, and that's what we, we just jigged as many, as many trees as we could and you know several spots you know in mind and we just we just went fishing you know it's, it's our home lake so we, we just went fishing you know we know where we know where they live getting them to bite is the hardest thing to do and that's we got them to bite today and it it showed well you know what you two guys did y'all beat some of the y'all beat the best crappie fishermen in this country and i mean i am so proud of y'all young team so proud they made a liar out of me because <laughs> i'm going to tell you something I made the prediction that it would be one trolling. And I think you were sweating. I think I seen just a few <laughs> drops of sweat running down your face when you knew that these guys were coming behind you that had been trolling in the area that I saw you jig fishing today. I watched you from afar from about 200 yards away, never seen you get a bite. You worked a, a hedge, hedge tree. You worked it for at least 15 or 20 minutes. I thought, man, the patience of these two individuals to do that but no bite. We were sitting there with a camera. I said, man, let them, let them go on. We truly, I truly thought it was going to be one trolling. So absolutely, absolutely cannot be more proud for you guys at a conventional one pole lake to get it done. I Sam, am, I've got something here. Oh man, this is the deal. That's a check for a brand new Ranger RT-188 boat. Worth $25,000 with a 115 Evan Rude, Rude HO. Motor. Guys, congratulations. Brother, you've done it. Raise that Hold high. them trophies high. Woo! You've done it. Beat the best in the country and 
They can't weigh in, but seven at a time, brother. Seven <laughs> at a time. <laughs> All right, talk to me. Tell me, today as you were fishing, as you were fishing today, what was going through your mind? You knew that you were picking a good fish off one by one, but what was playing in your mind? Did you think that you had enough? Did you think, what were you shooting for? A top five, a check? Talk, talk to me. I mean, we were, we were hoping for a top 10 with what we had. It was a grind all day to, to get what we had. It's crazy. I mean. Hey, you know what? This is what, this is what crappie fishing is about. There is a little emotion in crappie fishing, I'm telling you. So there's nothing to be ashamed of, by all means. Matt, talk that's, to that's me. Absolutely, he's been doing it for a long time. He's been doing it a lot longer than me. You know, I've probably been doing it for the last seven or eight years. And, you know, we've been fishing together for the last, I don't know, I don't know four or five years maybe. And, um, but he's been doing it for a lot longer than I have. So it means, a, I mean, it means a lot to me as well because I put a lot of hard work into it. But for him to win, you know, we just won the one, one pole challenge and that was on our bucket list. You know, that was the biggest tournament that we, we thought, you know, we wanted to win. And, you know, this tournament right here is above and beyond that because you've got the best in the country, you know, right here today. And, you know, we just... It, we well, I'm mighty proud Kevin. of y'all. You know, Kevin. I, I kind of Kevin. a one-pole guy myself. I started off one-poling and developed a line of rods to one-pole with, and I know what it takes. I know what kind of concentration it takes. Y'all did a fantastic job. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Hang Appreciate on one second. I Thank got you, a man, buddy. I got a man coming up here real quick. Oh, that, my goodness. I talked, to, I talked to this guy earlier today, and I talked to his son. I want you to get over here. Congratulate him. Congratulate him. Because I'm going to tell you, these guys have got a real emotional connection because you guys do fish so much together. Did you help introduce them to the sport? Yes. And I just, I don't know that I taught them anything, but somebody did. <laughs> somebody taught them something, brother. I think you probably <laughs> had a little bit of a hand in teaching them something. Is it good to see these guys do it? Yes, it is. I'm so proud of them. You know, some people just have it and some don't. Well, they've got it. They got it figured out. Fishing is the greatest sport in the world. You could take a 80-year-old man, a 20-year-old woman, a 14-year-old teenager, or an 8-year-old kid, and they get the same amount of enjoyment. God bless fishing, and God bless crappie fishing. Absolutely. And, you know, another come, Charlie Rogers and Kevin Rogers, you know, we have learned a lot from them. You know, we've been fishing with them a lot. We've fished tournaments together. You know, everything we fish against each other. But, you know, they're two of the best in the world. You know, they'll help us out, you know, any way that we can. And, you know, they, you know, we call it, you know, they're our friends. You know, we're best friends. So, you know, I couldn't, couldn't have done it without them. And they're, you know, they're awesome. They're awesome people. They're going to be a lot better friends because they're going to be asking you questions now. <laughs> it's it's yeah. kind of like, it's kind of like the, the torch may be passed in a certain way. You know, I mean, this, look, it's not to say anything bad at all because these guys have still, I mean, these guys still, they win on a consistent basis. But that's what's awesome about this sport and the fact that you can, you know, take a guy who's done it for 60 plus years. Yeah. <laughs> 60 plus years, but you can get the youth involved. You can teach them. And then there is a little bit of emotion in you to see them come up here and beat the best anglers in the world, in the country, right here at Truman Lake. It's a great thing. I love it. All right. Sam? We've got the national championship coming up. I am so excited. It is going to be such a great race. And let me tell you, we, you changed the game. Now the national championship counts for team of the year. That's right. The B&M Angler Team of the Year race, there is a big curveball. And that's the fact that the national championship will be counted. So there's going to be a 518, Ranger 518 given away for the winner at Lake of the Ozarks coming in up up in October. A 518 now. Yes, That's a with, a, glass with a 200 horsepower Evan Rude motor. But we're going to give another Ranger RT-188 away for Angler Team of the Year. For Angler Team of the Year, and that means the team for all year. That's absolutely right. So you guys that are in the race, man, sharpen up your hooks and get ready because you're fishing for a lot of money. That's right. Sam, I can't be more happy here with Truman Lake American Crappie Trail. Uh, Bucksaw Marina, Clinton, Missouri. The championship, October, at Lake of the Ozarks. It's coming up. Thanks for watching, Sam. Thank y'all. It's been our pleasure to bring you the American Crappie Trail, the best of the best. And congratulations to the winners. Hold them trophies high, boys. <laughs>